Yes, yes, y'all. You know what it is. It's them kids and wives and 925s, but we are still married to the games. Episode 338. Yes, sir. It's your boy Gabe Patillo with Tim Router, Ed Placencia, and Chris McCracken, of course. And as always, we are talking games and life, life and games. Thank you guys so much for being here. Oh, yeah. And what is it, Tim? It's the Ocho. I, well, it, I was looking for Night Show, but... Uh, <laughs> I, I thought it's, you wanted Ocho too. I, I did too. We were just talking. All right, so it's a night show. It's an Ocho. Yeah, we'll take either answer. Oh my gosh! Oh jeez! Router, Farley, 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 Huffar. Yes. What is going on with you, brother? Life is good. It's a night show. I'm still feeling a little ill i came, Uh-oh. i came down with something but it's not like over the top just like like a low-grade fever achy mm. and a little bit of a cough but n- nothing to hinder me from doing my daily business which is good um yeah so, uh piper's topic of the week this week is uh mrs terwilliger which is her first grade teacher and we just found yeah. out that she is leaving in two weeks what? To All right, kids, to... I've had enough of this. Exactly. Guy. It's yeah, like, what is that about? All right, peace. There's only eight weeks left in the school year, but you know what? I'm out of here anyway. So yeah, why well, you can hold yeah, out, no. Miss Kamlerberger? I know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I, I felt uh, I felt bad, uh, but she. I mean, I kind of don't blame her. At the same time, she got a, another offer, and she thought it was going to wait until. They're going to say she won the lottery. The, right. She's exactly. Out, she right? said, "I'm out of here." Kids. Exactly. You little turds can fend for yourselves. Yeah, exactly. she's like deuces, baby, deuces. That's right. But uh, no, we obviously are wishing her the best. But uh, yeah, it's just kind of weird. Are we? There's only eight weeks left in the school year, so I guess they're gonna really? scramble to scramble to find somebody. So man, um, but yeah, it's called it was, substitute. Exactly for Long like term. eight weeks. It's called cruising the rest of first grade, basically for the <laughs> last no, eight right. weeks. Two plus two is five. Yes, you win, Piper. Way to go. <laughs> as long as you feel like it's five, it's exactly. five. That's right. No, two exactly. plus two is 22. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. There that's it what is. we've learned. Um, yeah, so that, uh, so that was some interesting news. So the principal had emailed, all, uh, had emailed us and said, look, we are definitely scrambling to try and find somebody, but you know, rest assured that you know, we're going to take care of this and we'll make sure that everything's good. So <laughs> They're like, don't worry, it's just the first grade. That's right, that's right. exactly. They're not off to college. They know yet. how to eat glue. They're good. Yep. yep. <laughs> exactly. Well done. Well done. Um, let's see. What else? We had our first soccer game this past Saturday. And um, yeah. And then. Uh, oh, oh, no. Geez, it was bad. You didn't win it is what you're saying? <laughs> oh, no. We picked right back up where we left off in the oh, fall. Oh, doggone it. Which yeah. means just run in circles. And it, which means. Whoa, just, what was the yo, score? I mean, Piper did score a goal, which is good. So I'll give her that. All right. But, Open net. I mean, yeah, it was like ten to two, <laughs> but whatever. Oh, no one's keeping score. Shoot, ten to two. Uh, even the even Coach Dave and I were like, "Are you even coaching anymore on this side?" And I'm like, "Nope." <laughs> Did, is there <laughs> not a let him go? Rule? So I don't know. We'll There's, see. And then we were supposed to have practice on Tuesday, but it was it's been so cold that they canceled uh, practices, and so we're going right back into another game on Saturday. Oh wow! Uh, wow so, so that'll be fun, but. It, I, I will say, again, it is great because we have the same girls, which means we have the same parents, which means all the parents are very understanding and we can all kind of joke about it. And it's a good group of people. So, uh, you know, we're, you know, we're not out. Like I said, we're not out to win any Children's World Cup or anything like that. <laughs> or any games. You and, should be, Tim. I know we should. Children's World Cup. Here we come. Right. It, it, it is a little frustrating, but this is a whole new learning curve for them. So we've got to kind of get them into passing and kicking directly and not getting in each other's way and not bunching up. And uh, Dedicate just, this next game to Mr. Williger. Uh, I know. Ooh, uh, there can you, go. you just get a substitute coach? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> for the rest of the season? For, I'm out for the rest of the season. There you go. Um, I found another position. Anyway, um, yeah, other than that, uh, just a lot, man, a lot of work's been going on right now, so... Uh, just bit, staying really super busy. Um, on the gaming front, I am continuing with Far Cry New Dawn and absolutely nice. loving it. Go. Ladies and gentlemen, my new favorite re- weapon of all Far Cry. 
Saw Launcher. Yes! Oh what gosh. is that? It it's is, my new favorite, too. It is a Saw Gabe, Launcher. Gabe, it is the most glorious weapon you will ever encounter in your life. I've got the level three <laughs> um, weapon now, so nice. you, you basically shoot saw blades out. And with the, the level three difficulty, I think it's three at a time. Basically, if there's wow. three three enemy enemies anywhere near you, you hit them and it ricochets and kills all of them around you. It is glorious and it has such oh a my great gosh. sound. It oh. is awesome. My Soul new launcher is your my new, your very best friend. My new, yes, Ed, I'm with you. My new favorite weapon of all time. So the thunk has been replaced with the saw launcher, and I couldn't be happier. What does, does the saw sound? launcher sound like? Yeah, yeah. what's it sound? Uh, man, I don't know. It's kind of kind of like, like a shink. shink. Yeah, it's yep. like a shink. <laughs> So it's okay. it's interesting. It's so good. Oh uh, man, it's it honestly I don't it like is that as much. so effective. So effective. Like if there's any big bigger bossier elite enemies, no problem. It'll take care of them for you. So wow. yeah, it's it's my new uh it's my new toy. And I like you Ed, I have not really been doing much of the main mission. I did the first couple and now I'm just out collecting ethanol yep. and like getting all kinds of crazy stuff and liberating outposts and then you get with this one now you get to scavenge. You can basically let the enemies take back over that um outpost and then recapture it again. It's it's a higher difficulty, but then you also get more rewards for it. And so I've been doing that as well, and it's just mm -hmm. so much fun. What a great little playground uh, to be in. So I am just loving uh, any any and all things Far Cry New Dawn, which is fantastic. Yeah. Um, got to jump on on Friday. I stayed home. Got to jump on a little Overwatch with my boy Ed on No Work Friday. I was so yes. excited. Nice. You got to it was take part. Exactly, man. Just a little 30 minutes of love, and it was perfect. I, uh, it, was mm. just, it was awesome. Um, and then after that, I started feeling like crap anyway, so I stayed home Aww. the rest of the weekend too. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, so it's just been a little bit of Overwatch, a lot of Far Cry, and that is it for me. Nice, I love it. Yeah, man. Chris McCracken. Yes. What to do with you, Bishop? Uh, man, things here are actually pretty pretty quiet. Um, so we actually we had a video shoot uh, last Friday that bl uh, went over into Monday as well, and we finished it up on Monday. And then today, this morning, uh, we had to do some shooting of some executives at the back at the office, um, right at the very beginning of the day, and we wrapped all that up. And this month in particular, so our fiscal year starts in April. So and all vacation time, any that you have left over, our PTO time is supposed to be used up in this month. So this month everybody's like scrambling to anything they had left to like plug it in somewhere. So there's a lot of people that are going to be out for a lot of this month. In fact, I'm going to be out for a good chunk of this month because I'm off this coming Friday and Monday. And then I'm off from the 14th through the 20th. Oh, oh yeah. wow. So yeah. So I'm going to be just doing a bunch of different things then. So right now at Let's the actual get office, into some apex. Yeah, you know, I'm hoping so. I'm hoping I can fit some of that in there somewhere. But we'll, you know, we'll just have to see. You know, it is vacation time, and Stacy's going to be off as well. So we're gonna. We're, I'm sure we'll be spending a lot of time where we won't even be home. We'll be out and about doing all kinds of stuff. Um, so it'll be a lot of fun. But that just means that all I'm doing really is, is kind of like fine tuning the last little bits of things and taking wrapping everything up before I have to head out. But because so many other people are are trying to you know take all of the last little bits of their time right now as well. There's not a lot of new stuff coming in or a lot of hot deadlines that are hitting. Everything's like really due next month kind of thing. So it's mm. nothing that's super like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm really trying to ramp up to get all this stuff taken care of. So it's been nice and easy at work on the gaming front. Man, it's just the same old thing. You know, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> what up, Apex? I mean. How you doing, baby? What up, Ajax? It's I don't, I don't know what it is, man. I, I really kind of felt like I would be, I'd have hit a point where I was like, all right, I'm good to, you know, walk away <laughs> for a week or so. And it's just still a lot of fun to play, man. It really is. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know what it is about it. I've gotten, you know, a handful of wins or whatever now. So now I'm working on trying to get a certain number of kills with every single character, every legend, I guess I should say. Mm -hmm. I've been working on that and just making up things that I want to try to do. There's there's still weapons in the game that I get and I can run into, but it's like, all right, now I'm going to try mm -hmm. to just play the next 30 minutes with only this weapon. And if I, if I find it, then I have to use that weapon to try and get better or just see how it changes things and new strategies and, and yada, yada. It's just, it's just a lot of fun. I have jumped in a Overwatch a handful of times. Um, I jumped in Overwatch tonight with Ed, and I actually jumped off a little bit before you jumped in there, Tim. Oh, gotcha. Um, uh, but... Uh, 
Got to play in a little bit of that with some custom matches, and that was a lot of fun with a bunch of the people that I hadn't played with in a long time. Mighty Paolo was in there. Yeah, what? he just started That today. was insane. Yeah, what he the, was in there. He just like bought it? He, was, what you said? he was freaking Hanzo a few times, and I just had to punch him. So oh, I did it. yeah, I know. That's right. <laughs> and then Lucas Ham Swisher and Mark Boucher and a bunch of other people. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a lot of fun, the little bit that I was in there. And I got to say, man, I'm really itching for an an event to show up because I just want new stuff. That's one thing that has kind of satiated me to where it's like, okay, I can spend some more time in Apex because everything there for the most part is still pretty new to me. Whereas in Overwatch, because there's not an event, like every, I know every loot box, I guess, is going to be a duplicate. And usually that's good because I I can get the gold coins, but I'm sitting on like 14,000 of them right now. So I feel like I'm good. I just don't have a huge draw other than the, you know, the sweet hangs and like what I had tonight whenever we played. So, but yeah, man, just Apex. I, I do think during all this vacation time, it's somewhere in there. I'm going to be jumping into New Dawn. So oh, please do. Nice. I don't know where it's going to be. And I know regardless, even if for some reason I don't, let's say I just get totally distracted or we're doing a lot of out of town stuff, it will maybe be my summer game or whatever. I'm definitely jumping into it. It's not going to be one of those games that I'm like, oh, well, I bought it and I never played it. No, I, I enjoyed Fire Cry 5 way too much. So I'm definitely going to be jumping in. And I got to check out this saw gun. Oh, it's so great. <laughs> I'm telling so, you. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that. It but. is amazing. But that's pretty much it over here on the McCracken front. Eduardo. Yes, sir. What it do, Bishop? Uh, well, Sarah was out of town this weekend. Uh, she was in Columbus for a fitness convention, and she got another uh, fitness certification. She was doing that. Awesome. Um, before she left, we got to jump into a little bit of the Lego Movie 2 video game, and uh, Sarah did not like it. Mm. Um, Uh-oh. Hmm. Most Lego games have, like, you play the story, or if it's based on a movie, you play the movie, and yeah. in between each chapter, you can kind of do a little free roaming, help mm-hmm. people out with little tiny side missions, and this game is all just the in-between side missions. There is no story. Really? And it hmm. is, it has nothing to do with the movie, except that it has some of the same characters in it. It's oh, really? Man. So they Not threw a- this together, basically. It w- and now I know why it was thirty nine and not fifty nine like a new game. Oh is. Man, man, that shoot. stinks! Because the, the yeah. movie is awesome. I would have loved to have yeah. played like a video game like that. It'd be great. Yeah, and and if you haven't seen the movie and you wanted to play the game, you won't get spoiled. You will probably be super confused. Nice. Uh, oh wow. We were. We had no idea most of the time what was going on, what was Come happening. Come on. Uh, um, that's frustrating. That, so yeah, Sarah didn't really enjoy it. That being said, the night that she left, I platinum the game. Of course, <laughs> well, sure, as you do, as I do. Um, and it's probably the shortest uh, or the quickest I've ever platinum. I've never platinumed a Lego game in a day and a half. You know, so wow. It's, uh, it's okay. It's it's very much. Uh, they brought back a lot of the building mechanics, like from Lego Worlds. Um, and there, it's so its focus is a lot more on building than it is actual gameplay. So I was kind of mm. bummed, um, and I know Sarah. I was mostly bummed because Sarah was bummed because mm-hmm. she was so looking forward to having another a new Lego game to play together. Uh, mm. But so yeah, um, she was gone for the weekend. I spent a lot of the weekend with Dad. Uh, Saturday, I called him and asked him if he'd ever seen Deadpool. He said no, so he oh. came over and watched me watch Deadpool. Fantastic. And it oh finished, and I said, do you want to watch the second one? And he said, yeah. <laughs> yeah so I love it. <laughs> nice. We sat and watched the second one and uh, had a had a good time. Uh, Sarah came home. We finally got to watch Into the Spider-Verse. Oh, and, oh. I see that still. Yeah, I've still not seen that. Oh, it, it. I hear it's Halfway amazing. through, Sarah just screams out. She's like, this is the coolest movie I've ever seen. Oh, it, oh man. so good. I got to oh, see that freaking nice. movie. I'm so excited. So, yeah, I was glad it's to see it. It's one of those it. ones where I felt like, you know what? I should just buy it because I'm going to like it. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Right. Yeah, we ended up buying it on Amazon, and wow. we have people coming over this weekend to watch it so we can see it again. Um, that's awesome. So, yeah, I was really, really, really uh, pleased with it. Uh, gaming-wise, it's been a lot of fun. I finished up Far Cry New Dawn. Oh, um, nice. It got really tough. and oh, I did it. Weird. I, almost, <laughs> I know. I thought you were going to say that, too. Yeah, it I almost it was almost like the the Vietnam DLC where where that I never finished. It got so tough I couldn't mm. finish. Oh. And I'm playing on the easiest level and I what? For, th- for three hours wow. struggled on a boss Yikes. battle. It was what? the final boss battle or not even the final one? Not even the final one. Oh, oh come on now. So it was one of those times where I felt myself trying to remind myself 
I love this game. It's a lot right. of fun up until this. Don't suck the joy out of this game right. for me, Far Cry. Right. Um, and looking back on it now, I, I'm i glad I beat it. It wasn't that, you know, a lot of times people say, well, when you beat it, you'll have that sense of accomplishment. That didn't out. I would have much rather have had an, an easier boss fight with a little less accomplishment. Yeah. Feeling because, <laughs> yeah. Um, but that being said, I still enjoyed it. I've, I stumbled upon some things you can do. Uh, now that the game is over, that I didn't realize you could do. So it opens like 25 different new challenges. Oh, sweet. Um, that I kind of stumbled upon. So that was kind of cool. I haven't gone back to it yet, um, but I would like to. Uh, Wait, just so to you, do those challenges. you did beat it or you didn't beat it? I did beat it. Yeah, I beat the main campaign. And then there are like, there's like a side mission you can do. And if you return to the side mission, it's different each time. Okay. They're like 25. So you got past that boss that you're talking about. I did get past it, yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha, nice. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. it was a tough... So did you just find a strategy that worked, or did you have to ask somebody, like, hey, what'd you do, or, or it how did was, you get past it? It was just basically scrambling the entire time. Mm. Um, oh, my gosh. Uh, it's kind of one of those things where, you know, you go uh, like a lot of Far Cry games, you go to an outpost, and, you, you know, if you tag all of the enemies, unless you're spotted and they call reinforcements, that's all the enemies. Yes. And... This one, uh, the, things kept respawning, and it was oh, an endless. That. So not only are you trying to do one thing, you're also trying to pay attention to the the respawning things. Um, yeah, that it would was be, yeah. it was a mess. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it was just me. You know, I'm not the best at video games, and so maybe it was just me. Um, I'm curious to see Tim if you had a hard time with it, or if you're like I, I beat it in two tries. You know, I'll let you know. I'll yeah, definitely yeah. let you know. Yeah, there's some things like. Uh, I had a lot of struggle with the Jacob section in mm. Far Cry Five, oh, but right. yeah. a lot of other people did had way more, bigger problem with Faith. Yeah, yeah, that's and I was how like, I was. And yeah. Faith didn't really bother me that much. Like I yeah. got through it fairly after just you know a couple tries. So it's just one of those things. Maybe it was just that day. It just had your number kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, jumped into more Trials Rising, loving it. Uh, it's such a fun game. It's so crazy, and I love that uh, you know they have the same crazy tracks, but it remembers ghosts from on online players who are sort of playing against people. Uh, it, but it's a lot of fun. If you like the Trials games, you definitely can't go wrong with it. And um, I was so stoked after we talked last week. I think we talked about it on on uh, the podcast about the the rumblings and rumors of Watch Dogs Three. Yeah, and, yeah, man. I, so I started Watch Dogs, the first one this week, and have been playing. I'm going to play through yes. it and then play through the second one again. Yeah, um, awesome. Yeah, just oh man, the game. I think it holds up really. I think it holds up really nice. It's just as fun as I remembered it. Um, I know it, it got a lot of people who didn't really care for it, and that's fine. Um, but it was nice to go back to it. It's you know almost three games old, and see that oh wow, it's just like I remembered. It's just as fun. I still don't know why it got so much flack because I really enjoyed it too. Was it just they didn't like the character? I think they I the storyline isn't the most in depth storyline. I mean, it's been done, yeah, but it, it's not like the worst thing in the, the world. From my memory, the biggest to do that kind of did it in and that people stuck to and yada yada about it wasn't so much because of the gameplay or any of that kind of stuff. It was more about that was one of the first, or not the first, but that was one of the big games of this generation to go through all the whole like oh my gosh we're seeing it e3 and it looks so yes. amazing and then when yep. it came out like it was way downgraded right comparatively uh, okay. right and that was the first one game this generation because that was it was shown before we had the ps4 and the xbox one if i remember right mm -hmm. and so they, everybody was like oh my gosh this is gonna be amazing and when they got it it just is like but it doesn't look nothing like this and yeah. it, it still didn't look bad but yeah, yeah. It so just a lot of people just got rubbed wrong by that. Yeah, and, and I, I, I kind of felt bad because it did look different from the E3. But at the same time, I'm like, but if it's fun to play, yeah, I don't right. mind. And yep, yes. I even felt that, I think even though most people think that the second one is better than the first, I still feel like the second one kind of buried that or carried that on its shoulders of mm -hmm. Watch Dogs isn't boo, Watch Dogs kind of a thing. Huh. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I had fun. Uh, and then... Yeah, finally, like uh, like Chris mentioned, uh, got into some Overwatch tonight that was probably the most fun I've had playing Overwatch in a long time. Oh um, yes, what it was. It's funny because we had. Uh, I knew that Paolo had just gotten the game. Lucas was going to hop in. He's very new, and we had eight people in our party, and you can only have six on a team. 
and we're like, oh, well, I can go take a couple people. And then I was like, well, wait a second. I think you can do custom games in Overwatch. What if we can we play against each other in a custom game? And doggone it, if we weren't playing 4v4 and oh, just man. laughing, and because we could all hear each other on the party chat, you couldn't really strategize. And so it was just fun to trash talk each other. And oh, it was so much fun. I, I mean, I would great. almost rather play that version than the standard. And you get XP still. So, I, hey. yeah, which was nuts. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm leveling up on this. Yeah, yeah. So it was so much fun. Just, uh, it, it was, it, uh, uh, Mrs. Bread fam was in there. Jonathan, Mark Boucher, Chad Fackler, Paolo, mm-hmm. Lucas, Bernabe was in there for a bit. Chris was in yep. for a bit. Then Router hopped in for a bit. And oh, so much fun. And it just, again, just kind of reiterates how much fun this community is. I love you guys. This is so much fun. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so it was a good week for me. I love that. Yeah. That's awesome. Doggone it. All right, Mr. Patillo, what you got, man? Man. We had an eventful weekend. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm um, eventful for me. Do tell. Okay. Um, well, so we started off in Toledo, Ohio. And for those that keep an eye on the Twitter, they knew that I got to go hang out with uh, Sammy, which was amazing, and meet up with Chad Fackler. Hey. Oh, nice. Hey. So uh, super listener Chad got to kick it with him for just a minute. We went to uh, a couple game places and hung out. And uh, it was just so good to meet him and talk to him about, you know, what's going on in his life, um, be the ambassador, and then just hanging with Sammy. Sammy called me the day before. He's like, hey, what time do you want me to get there tomorrow? I was like, as soon as you can. That's right. Like, drop the kids off, then come over here. And me and Sammy just kicked it all day. Uh, And it was just so good to see Sammy. And, you know, he's not on this tour, and we miss him. So it was good to see him. Got to see his family and his baby girls and and everything like that. He took me to a Chinese place called like QQ Kitchen or something like that. And it was Sweet. freaking delicious. <laughs> Sweet. Nice. Oh nice. my gosh, it was so good. Um, and then uh let's see. Was it Fairfax? VA? I got to hang out with uh yeah, and VA. I got to kick it with um Glovebox, Eric. I don't know what his last name is actually. Eric, is it Glover? I don't remember. Anyway. I put up a picture of that on Twitter. That was like, it was it was weird because like, you know, a lot of these people we've never met before. We don't know what they look like, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, I didn't know what Eric looked like. And so um, you're, you're just kind of like walking up there like, okay, if, if they see me and I see him, then, you know, we'll kind of give each other the eye and, and yeah, Eric Glover. And we'll, we'll kind of know that it's each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, he was like hey I'm parked over here dude me and Eric kicked it for like you know maybe two or three hours with him and his wife Jonna and uh, I felt like I was hanging out with family oh, it was the nice. weirdest oh, awesome, thing man. ever that's we great. were like howling laughing in the car like just talking about whatever and he's telling stories he's been a police officer for like 30 years or oh, something man. crazy and he was in Afghanistan and all this stuff and, and so he's like a federal police officer hmm and so like, oh man. And we went to a game place that was actually awesome. It was a little expensive, but it was really, really cool. Uh, and man, we had a good time. Yeah, and that's just awesome. Cracking so up laughing. So oh yeah, you, you should good, be jealous. Man. Oh, I am. Um, you should be jealous until we get to Hershey. Oh yeah. That's when the jealousy stops. Uh-oh. But the because chocolate that's, starts. That, <laughs> that snow came through, oh, boy. You got snowed and, in? And we got snowed in and had to cancel the show. No. Mm. Oh, and we wow. had to move the show to the next night. Oh, no. And so instead of coming home on Monday, like you know we usually do and getting to see my family, we had to move the show to Monday night and then not get home till Tuesday oh, uh, man. from PA. And so it was a little like... That's it was just kind of a bummer. You yeah, know what I mean? Man. And not only that, but because of it, you know, they had closed down the freeways. And so there's like one Uber running who, you know, with some of our guys took him and it was like, we shouldn't have done that. That was not safe. <laughs> um, and so we just tried to make the, the best of a bad situation. They didn't set up any chairs in the arena because they sent everybody home because they were starting to close down the roads. Mm. And uh, 
And so we just like turned all the screens into video game screens and got the switch connected out that's there. That's awesome. Oh, that's great, man. Uh, Look at that. A couple of the, yeah, a couple of the guys watched Into the Spider Verse and they said they loved it. And me and another buddy found a room with two TVs next to each other and we plugged up Apex Legends and actually oh, got some nice. good internet going. So we had a cornhole tournament and so we were all out there playing oh, cornhole. Cool. So we're just trying to make because you find out at two o'clock on Sunday that you don't have a show that night so you don't have to get back to work till 6 the next night mm. and you're like shoot what are we about to do with all this time and not be able to go anywhere right right and so everybody's uh attitudes were pretty high mm. there was definitely some wives that were acting a fool if mm. i can say so myself mm. uh, oh yeah yeah just kind of giving it to their husbands like they control the weather yeah right like, I just don't understand why you guys can't come home. And it's like, they they closed the freeway. They closed the freeway. We can't come home. And you're in a bus. Yeah, exactly. We're, we're not trying to, you know, anyway. Did it's you, just like, it, it sucked because some of the some of us guys, and I actually, I said to Jenny when I talked to her, I was like, thank you for not thinking that I control the weather. Right. Because exactly. I don't. And, you know, and I understand the moms at home watching the babies getting frustrated, but some of these guys... They got it taken out on him. And I was like, oh, mm, that's man. That sucks. Yeah, yeah it was really too bad. With her one baby and Jane's down there holding down with three. Like, she's like, it's cool. <laughs> I got this. I know, right? She wasn't like, it's cool. But she yeah. didn't get mad at me, at least. Right. Um, right. right. So, you know. So how was the drive back? Like, sure. did they clear the roads pretty quickly? Yeah. And then and then that next day, it all melted. Oh, and nice. It was, yeah, it was easy. Like, no, there was no problems going oh, on. Oh, good, good, good. Um, it was just that it was the next day. So, uh, mm. but also while I was in DC, I got to go to the um, Museum of the Bible, oh, which nice. was really great. And so um, we went to the Museum of the Bible and saw that, and that was really cool. And uh, what was oh, thanks, babe. What's that? Ooh, some tea. Thanks, girl. Look at you. Stop it. <laughs> Were you trying to get pregnant <laughs> again? Yeah. Jenny she just brought me some, the shed? Some, some, yeah, she brought me some tea and honey for my voice. Look at that. She knows oh, I'm nervous about on. tomorrow. That's just a sweet pea right there. Mm. Mm, that's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, baby. She's not in here anymore, but I'm still thanking her. Nice. You need a minute? <laughs> I know. All right, hang on. I'm going to text Stacy. I need some tea. Yeah, right. <laughs> I know. That's so sweet I'll of her. I'll take some chocolate milk. And she was looking cute, too, because we went on a date tonight. Oh, nice. Mm. Where'd you guys go? Don't say Jay Alexander's. We didn't say that. We went to, uh, we were going to go to one place called uh, Pinewood Social. Yeah, man. Because I'd never been there before. Yeah, and everybody's, everybody who knows me is like, you got to go there. Because it's like food and a bowling alley. But it's like supposed to be really like hipster. And oh, nice. It's super hipster. Yeah. So we show up there and they had a private event going. And so oh. didn't go there. We were, ended up going to a place called like, I don't even remember what it was called. It wasn't like Jasmine, but it was like a name like that with like a short one name thing on 12 South. It was good, but it was expensive, boy. God. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was like, $92, we ain't even get drinks. <laughs> so we just kind of like tried not to show it on our date night. I'm like, sure. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. That's a nine. Yep. Oh, man. That's something else, boy. Ain't that something else? What'd you get? That's like a six turned upside down. Look at that. Yeah. Whoa, that, am I looking at this the right way? <laughs> 62 is what I was expecting. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Yeah. We have a coupon. Coupon. <laughs> um, so uh, went to the Museum of the Bible. That was really cool. Yeah. Uh, I encourage anybody to go there. Even if you don't know nothing about Jesus and you're not into that. That's fine, but just the like the artifacts and things there, mm. and the the history of the whole thing is just really intense, man. It's really cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So somebody who is all about that, it was even more so dope for me. That's great, so, man. Uh, yeah, got in some Apex, got in some uh, Tetris ninety nine, got in some Mario Kart. All the guys are playing. We found out by doing my investigative journalism. Mm. You know how I do mm -hmm. that. We have like six Nintendo Wii's. I mean, Nintendo Switches on the road. That's awesome. Had, wow. And, and this is the thing because we're adults, nobody talks about it. So I'm just like catching people like, oh, you have a Switch? They're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had one since launch. And I'm like, I have one too. And Dave has one. Like our music director just got one for his birthday. Then Brian's got one. And Mikey, the guy that works in the 
production office got one. And I was like, we need to be getting together. Yeah, Everybody's yeah. got Mario Kart. So they've been playing on the band bus Mario Kart till awesome. like two, three in the morning. Yeah. That's amazing. So anyway, uh, I think that's it. Then this weekend, I'm in uh, Youngstown, Ohio, Chicago, Illinois, and Grand Rapids, Michigan. So I know that Adam Paith is trying to put together some people. I think Scotty Lindsay's coming out. Going to hang out in Chicago. Chicago so if you're in peeps, Chicago man. land, yeah, man, go to the Facebook group and under events is like something like, I think Adam made us like link up with Gabe or something like that. And so you can so kind of see yeah, what we got going on. And, you know, it probably won't be no big deal, but just going to hang out. Be a good That's time. Awesome. Yeah. 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 I want to hang uh, out. I know you do. <laughs> um, also on the gaming front, um, beat Jacob's area. Oh, nice. Oh, very uh, nice. In uh, Far Cry 5, so I've just got Joseph left. So oh, what did you think or, of Jacob? And did you struggle with it at all like I did, or am I still the odd man out? I mean, it was a struggle. I mean, like, uh-huh. uh, it definitely was the hardest of the three, I felt like. So you felt it was harder than Faith? And, and I just think the boss so. fight part? Gotcha. Well, it's the leading up to the boss fight is what I thought was tough. Not the yeah. actual boss fight itself is really easy. I had on that area once. where you had to go like blow up the towers. That's or what I'm talking about. Yeah, That's that in particular, about. that part, I had to do that. I feel like 25 times. Mm. I mean, I, I oh wow, maybe seven times. Yeah, maybe seven I had to do it times. a lot. I yeah. didn't count, but it felt so like it was a tough. <laughs> yeah, it was tough. I, I will, t- I will say though, Chris, I do agree with you. The way they move the story beats along in Jacob's area is by far the worst of all three areas. Yeah, mm. it is so bad like it was so bad that like i wanted to test it because i felt like jacob's area because i know that we disagree about this a little bit but john's Mm -hmm. area in in the south yes i felt like every time i got captured was surrounded by just a bunch of bad guys coming out saying you just got to shoot them once and then they shoot me you know because they're gonna shoot you at least once yeah and then it moves the story beat Faith, Chris made a good point last week, even though I didn't appreciate it. Mm. Faith's area, no, not the point that was made, but what I'm about no, to say. We go. In Faith's area, you could just be walking around wherever and all of a sudden you poof. get woozy and pass yeah, out and exactly. they, they move the story along. In Jacob's area, neither of the two happen. Like all of a sudden you hear the, the song that they use the whole time, mm-hmm. the, yes. you know, yep. whatever it was. Yeah, you're right. So what I hated about it was like, I would take an outpost and I would like be... I'd reload my gun and I'd go over in a corner because I'm weird about like, you know, just random people seeing me driving by or something like that. So all my people have taken over this outpost. We're chilling. I go to text somebody on my phone. And next thing you know, my guy's passing out. Yeah. I'm like, oh, come on. Yeah. I was like, at least wait till I leave like the comfort of my bedroom. Seriously. You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. I just felt like that one was the one where it was like, yeah, like at least have a car drive by playing that song mm-hmm. and it make a little sense as to why you're moving the story along instead of just like, Oh, just cause we're just going to move it along. Mm-hmm. And I felt like it happened at weird times. And mm-hmm. yeah, I feel like it went off the XP, the not herd. off the, herd. yeah, oh, I call the herd. That's what I do. So I don't know. I, I didn't appreciate his, his, uh, things that he made you go through either. Yeah. Like the little challenges because mm-hmm. they were the exact same. I didn't even notice they were different till the last one. I was like, oh, have they been adding guys every single yeah, time? Like, just, I didn't even know it. Like, it's yeah. just, it's sequentially faster or something like that. Like, that, yeah, I'm the, with it, you it on that. It gives you less time each time, but it's not yep. obvious. Yeah, yeah, I didn't, yeah. Again, I didn't notice the last time. I was like, oh, I got 15 seconds. Anyway, for those that have played the game, you know what I'm talking about. Those that haven't, this is not spoilery. It's just, no, annoying. you'll get there. Yeah, right. So you're on there. to the next little spot? Yeah, now? so I've got like, uh, you know, two more story missions after I've done Jacob's area. It looks like I got to do another story mission. Maybe before Joseph's area nice, man. lights up and then let's get this thing over with. And I've been enjoying it. I just kind of like ready for it to be done. It oh, feels yeah. long for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, it's long. It just feels, it feels long. Yeah, and it map, feels like. I think it only feels huge. long because you're trying to get through it. Yeah. I don't I mean, know, man. This feels longer than Pagan Men and them. And maybe it's because it's three or four different bad guys. And so it's not like this constant right. thing kind of going all the way through. It's like pagan men was the guy yeah. and you're fighting pagan men's guys. Now I'm like learning about faith. And then, you know, they kind of have to like get you to know each character as you go. And you're like, OK, well, I'm not like invested in any of these guys except for Jake Joseph. I guess what I mean to clarify my what I meant was 
I just when, like when I played the game, like I never felt like oh this is dragging. Like I just had fun the whole time. Oh, me too. So it, yeah. Oh, it, that's what I meant. Like it may actually be longer than the other one, and I agree. I think it the does map have, is you bigger. Know, the, basically four oh, bosses yeah, yeah. really if you think about it that way and so yeah that's a bit unique but i, I never felt like th it was dragging but but i wasn't trying to get through it because i had you know this stuff the other stuff that i was wanting to do i was just like i'm just gonna live yeah. here and i did and I, it and i always felt fine and i don't feel like the pace of the game drags i just mm. feel like the game itself is just a it's, lot dra it's dragging mm, for yeah. you because you are you are rushing I think. Maybe I don't, I don't feel like I'm rushing, but maybe you're not I really am. doing I don't know. side stuff, right? No, but you. Yeah, I'm doing some side stuff, like if it's there. But yeah, like, I'm so not, like, like, I literally did everything in that game too, and, oh. and, and I never felt like, man, no, there's sir. just so much. Like, I just no, was like, was what great. else did yeah. I got? Yep, let's go fishing. It was nah. a joy, total joy to me. Nah, yeah. Doc, I'm liking it. Nah, it's doc. just like it, it just <laughs> <laughs> it just felt. I don't know, it, and that's the thing. Like, I don't really have a gripe. Like, I'm not like, oh, this is wrong with it. Besides those cutscenes in Jacob's area, right? Um, but I, I wish I would have done his first almost because I, then I could have, it would have ramped up. You know what I'm saying? Like Joseph's area. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. John's area and Faith's area would have made direction. sense. Started up there. Then yeah. You north yeah, I, and then I came this, down. I did yeah. the same thing that you did, Gabe, though. I, I went do south. Do they steer you south or something like that? Because all three of us did south. You, yeah. The guy you makes south? mention early on about something that you should go do and it puts you in the south region. And I think right. most people just... Well, and that's Stay where there. Boomer. That's where they introduce boom, Boomer too. Yeah, because so. you can go anywhere you want, but it, that's because right. your first little thing they have you do is in that area. Most yeah, people that's right. Would just I think that's exactly there. what I did too. I'm like, well, I'm here. I might as well just cover this area. Well, whatever witchery they use that's to right. steer all of us that way works, because yeah. I wouldn't have wanted to do Jacobs without all the that help that I had from all the other people that I've gotten already. You know, there what you mean? go. Mm -hmm. Um, all right. Yeah. Router. Yes. You got it? Yes. Well, let's do it! This is going to be short and sweet. Here we go. New releases. Assassin's Creed Odyssey Legacy of the First Blade Episode 3 Bloodline for oh, PC, wow. PS4, and Xbox One out March 5th. That would be now. Uh, Attack of the Earthlings for the PS4 and Xbox One. Beat Cop for the PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. Hmm. E Eternity, The Last Unicorn for the PC, PS4. Left Alive for the PC, PS4. That's all on March 5th. And then the two on Friday, March 8th. Devil May Cry 5 for the Oh, PC. yeah, oh, that's wow. finally yes. coming. There we go. For an Xbox One. And yeah. Kirby's Epic Yarn for the 3DS. We got a 3DS oh, game coming out. Couldn't be so, more different. Exactly. Yeah. Devil May Kirby. There it is. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah We had no oops, no MPD for February yet. Back to you, gentlemen. Chris McCracken. All right, so have you guys heard of this little game called Anthem? Yeah. Oh, mm. yeah. Maybe. And I know none of us are playing it <laughs> right now. Nope. But I almost bought it. Because we just, have we have a crystal ball. Yeah, exactly. Well, and had <laughs> I bought it, I would have bought it on the PlayStation 4. And that is not a thing that you want to have been doing right now. Mm -hmm. Well, because, kind well, of. Well, I guess it kind of depends. Because of the tens of millions of people, there's a small select number. But it is crashing some PlayStation 4s, and for some really unfortunate <laughs> people, it seems to be completely bricking their PS4. How Me, it, does that PS4 work? A PS4 regular, a launch, a slim, or the pro. It's like hitting wow. all these different ones. It doesn't matter which one it is of the ones that are being affected to that extreme uh, measure. And, I mean, EAs, they've, they've come out and they've said, like, we're, we're seeing reports of this stuff and we're, we're investigating. They're not really, as far as I have seen, they have not confirmed that it is indeed an issue in terms of the bricking PlayStations. They well, have said that, yes, we have seen that there is crash data and we do, we do recommend that whenever, if a game crashes, you know, it comes up with that prompt that says, hey, do you want to report this? They say, please report that because then we can make sure we get all the data and we can help try to find what the issue is and help, help fix that. And it's gotten so bad to the point where, because most people know if you buy PlayStation games digitally, unless you're in an area where it's required by law, you don't get a refund on a game, a pre-order or if you purchase it. You can't return the game. 
Short cake. Or if you've mm-hmm. pre-ordered it, you can't. I mean, they, there's sometimes that they'll give you some leniency, like if you've never done it before and, and, right. and you're in good standing, right. they'll be like, okay, we'll give you a refund on this one. But PlayStation came out and just was like, hey, you know, we'll give refunds for Anthem. Yep. No so, questions asked. Yeah. Yep. So, like anybody could do it. It's, I mean, Anthem's had a rough go since its launch. And mm, it's, that sucks. it's really unfortunate because I was so looking forward to this game back when they told us all about it at E3 like Gabe was. And it's just, it went from, oh man, this looks cool, to learning stuff and thinking the stuff I was learning was cool, to playing the demo and being like, yeah, it's all right. And then to hearing all of a sudden just being like, maybe I should hold off. And then, all right, I'm not going to buy it. That's crazy. Wow. It is. It's totally ridiculous. I'm hoping the exact opposite happens with Days Gone. It yes. well, funny enough, it seems like that's the case. There's a lot of people that have had little previews I right know. now, and a lot of people are flipping their little script. They're like, I "Hold know. on, this is kind of... I mean, really? it's what you expect, yes. but it's a lot of fun." That's what I heard too. They said, like, I saw some headlines that say mm-hmm. <laughs> Sony might have a surprise hit on their hands. Yeah, it's I'm crazy. Like, a hit. Good. I, I mean, I, I'm the money that I have because I, I I was gonna pay for Anthem with gift cards that I'd gotten from like Christmas and whatnot. I maybe I don't know if I'm gonna pre-order, but I may you be using that instead to get Days Gone. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Wow. It is. It's Look nuts. Look at this. I don't mean to move on from the other story so quickly, no, no, but no, like, no. I mean that was basically it. It's like some people's getting their PS4 is bricked, and they they don't really know why. How does a game brick a console? That's crazy, so, especially from a device. It's not uh-huh. like this is their first game they've made Yeah, for PlayStation. Well, it seems like, so for anybody, I'm sure each of you guys have ran into this like I have before. I pretty much always put my console in rest mode because I yeah. want to download the updates and whatnot. That's right. But right. if you do and like if for some reason the power goes out or if the, the plug accidentally gets pulled, if you, even if you're not a rest mode person or for some reason, you know, the power goes out the house while you're in playing a game. Whenever you start the PS4 back up, it talks about like, okay, you should make sure that you don't, you know, just unplug your console. Basically gives you a warning and then it it rebuilds the database and then starts back up. Yeah. Well, it seems like the ones that are being affected with this is that whatever that crash is that happens is so hard or so problematic that the system won't even boot up and can't even get to that screen that lets it rebuild the database. So it basically just screen just insane or it seems like it's doing nothing. Yeah, that's it's ridiculous. And I'm sure it's something that they're going to figure out at some point. And I also, just to be completely honest, I have no doubt that like in a year, Anthem's probably going to be pretty dang good. But like right now, I, I'm just mm-hmm. not touching it. I'm not going that way. Wow. That's I'm, a watch from I'm with you. Yeah. Yeesh. Yeesh. Doggone it. Um, so, Rumorville, the Xbox Maverick console... Hmm. Will probably be named the <laughs> Xbox One S All Digital Edition, or the what? or Tyler Perry presents the <laughs> Xbox One S All Digital Edition. The or the acronym Maverick? that people have been saying. What's the heard? acronym? The Xbox One Sad. One Sad. Yeah. One. Oh, oh. Xbox One Sad. It should it's be S-A sad. All, it's the Xbox That's One S All really Digital. Funny. So the Xbox One yeah. Sad. Oh. oh man. It's like really? I mean, nobody's gonna. Say addition. They're just gonna call it the Xbox One Sad. Everyone's gonna yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, they can call great. it the X Bone Sad. X Bone Sad. <laughs> X Bone Sad. <laughs> um, oh, at it least looks if like... they want to include the word addition, at least it's Xbox One Sade. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> there you go. X Bone yep. Sade. Sade. All right. Oh, wrong one. I love that. In a quiet storm. That's right. Um, love is rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love Sade, boy. Oh, yeah, me too, me. man. Come on. We went and saw Sade. John Legend opened no, no, up for us. She's Oh, my gosh. Oh, she's so good. Um. Anyway, it looks like they might be taking pre-orders for this thing in April. Yeah. Wow. And this thing might come out in May. Yep. Wow. Which That's is nice. like right around the corner. Mm-hmm. And so here's the thing. It's mm-hmm. not a super duper duper super duper surprise. This is what they wanted to launch with. Mm-hmm. You know, the rumors were they wanted to launch with something that was discless. And so um, they're finally getting around to doing it. And, uh, you know, it'll probably sell some. I think it'll probably sell good, especially depending on the price point. I don't know how much this thing is going to be, but let's say it comes out at like $250 with mm-hmm. Game Pass for a year and Xbox Live for a year. 
that's almost like you're paying a hundred something dollars for a console. You know what yeah, I'm saying? If it comes for both with both of those, then yeah, I was thinking, you know, man, I could see them going hard and just pulling like a one fifty. But if they're including those other two things, yeah, I totally I see what you're saying. And then cause two, you have to remember, I don't know how big that hard drive is about mm-hmm. to be in there. Mm-hmm. And so I don't know I don't know how much hard drive prices push up and down the, the cost. But you know, if it's like a two terabyte thing in there or something crazy. I'd be willing to bet it's it, at it most to it's going to be a one ter- no 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 it'll be a one terabyte if, it will be a one that, terabyte that's the, right yeah because I doubt it'll be any more than that because it's going to have the exact same expansion ports that the current Xbox One S has yep. and they'll be Plug like yeah man just throw in hard drive external hard drive yep. mod it like Ed yeah exactly go to Ed's modding channel yeah man just plug it in <laughs> yeah. Plug it in. I'd be shocked if it has a two terabyte in it. No, it won't. I don't think it will. But I'm just saying that's the only thing I can see that would push up the price. It shouldn't be more than $250. I don't think it should be more than $200 unless they're bundling in everything under the sun. Well, in the Xbox right now, like $250? Oh, I don't know. Or is it only two? Or is it only The One S is, isn't it? I mean, I know That's disk drives aren't super expensive, but no, I mean, like just the fact that you're trying to, to push it to all digital when not everybody's ready for that, I think you need to be able to incentivize it even more by like a really dirt cheap price. Comparatively yes. speaking. Mm-hmm. Agreed. So here's a question. Do you think that they will bring out an X version of this as well? That's oh, what man. I was wondering. I'm like, should I just I go think... ahead and get this one as my next gen console or should I wait? No, 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 no do don't do that. that. No, uh-uh. let's not no. get this, silly. I mean, hold on, is, buddy. This is only, in my opinion, this is only going to be just a last ditch, like play another thing to sell to try and make out as little more money as they can. Cause the next gen is going to start like around the corner. Okay, so yeah. this isn't the next gen. No, no. This is just okay. what you have now, except it's missing a disk drive. Okay. Oh, that's so, right. Okay. Yeah. Here, but it's the S version. It's yeah. not. It's gotcha. not the not OG the 1X version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not the Betamax that yes, came out right, at right. first. This is the Blu-ray version. No. Right. Okay. So here's my question, and I know we've discussed this before. Mm-hmm. Do you yeah. think this console is for the intro, the newer gamer, or do you think this is more for a a seasoned gamer? Because seasoned. I don't. Yeah, I don't see parents buying this because they're going to think, oh, well, I'll get this, and then I'll get the disc of this game for my son. And then they'll go home and they can't put the disc in. I think it makes it easier on kids, though, to tell them just to get that and give me some money so I can. What's your yeah. credit card number? Yeah. So I can just buy all the that, games. But see, I want. that's going to put stress on parents, though, because yeah, now, but even, now we don't know you what you're it, downloading. But even now, like you go to a GameStop or a Best Buy or a Target or wherever it is that you buy games, even there, you go to the, you know, the Xbox section and they have a wall of cards where it's like, oh, you want the next Call of Duty? Yep. Right. Here's the digital code for it right here. And you just buy it. It's not right. any different. The That's only true. parent, you, if you have those parents that are, you know, that understand the game, if you will, and they're like, okay, well, we're going to, we're going to buy the digital or the disc because then I can later on trade it in. You'll have those parents who are savvy enough to understand that, but sure. your average parent, I don't think they're they're gonna need to be told. Obviously, like yep. you can't buy a disc; it does have to be digital. But once they get that in their head, they don't they're care fine. if they're buying a card or they're yeah. buying a, yeah. a box. Okay, I think. Yeah, but I, I think but so. I don't think it's. Uh, it, I I would say it's for just grabbing whoever doesn't already have an Xbox One and is looking for a cheaper price because I think it's gonna be yep. cheaper than the regular S. I just think yeah, it's gonna be right. just it's just an effort to get as many last ditch sales as they can. And yeah, anybody and who was can- thinking about getting one should get one now. Right. Right and before I, I, the new one comes out. And I agree with Ed. Or I mean, I agree with Gabe. There's probably going to be some deal that it, it totally makes sense to an all, an all digital console to have some kind of bundle where like it just bundles in Game Pass. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Or, I mean, and and or Xbox Live. And heck, even if Microsoft doesn't do it themselves, I bet you Best Buy or GameStop will be doing those bundles. Yeah. So uh, the Fortnite edition yep. right now at Best Buy, the Xbox One S is $300. Mm. With Fortnite bundled. With Fortnite bundled, which is free. Got it. My, Wait, what is that? What? <laughs> right. The, here's what's weird. Minecraft, the Minecraft edition, mm. Xbox One S, is $50 off at $250 right now. No, boy. And Minecraft is not free. No. Wow. So, I don't know, man. They got a bunch of little bundles on here. They're all $300 except for the, the Minecraft one. So, that being said, if... If this one launches at two fifty or two hundred, I I don't see it being one fifty, man. That seems really low. But yeah, I, mean, I don't. Crazier think so. things. That's have, not making a profit at all. Then 
Ah. Uh, I mean, a little bit. I don't know how much that those. You know, it's old parts now. You know what it's I'm saying? True, These, it's true. Mm. So we'll see. What else you got, Christopher? So you guys heard of this little game called Apex Legends? Oh, tell me more. Yeah, it's a pretty cool little game. How's well, that spelled? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Apex. Yep. Ajax Legends. It was created by Ajax. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Ajax. I know what you're talking about now. Oh, Ajax Legends. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. About. I thought you said something different. So we we all know that like Respawn was like, hey, we got this game, and then bam, they just kind of like dropped it, and it kind of took the world by storm for a little bit, and it was like, oh my gosh, it was so cool yeah. because we didn't know this was coming from and from Respawn, and oh, and it's Battle Royale, and it's and it happens to be a really good one, and yada yada yada. Well, it turns out that the actual map, like beat for beat, the <laughs> yeah. actual map leaked. <laughs> Like a year ago, and just <laughs> kind of right. didn't really make any waves in the internet. There was really? just a few people who were like, I hope this isn't legit. And the other people saying like, no, nah, this is fake. There's no way it's real. And you know then it why? just kind of, like it was released on Reddit. Is that and, right? Yeah, and the map, so on, in the, in the articles the where they have it, they ha yeah, it's, it's basically the exact same map, just a, a lower textured version of it. Like when you overhead, you can tell that this was like the first go around of them. Like, okay, here's where everything's going to be. And then they really like solidified it from there. But it's got every area of the U. It's got artillery. It's got skull town. Yep. It's got water treatment. Swamps. All the areas you can mm -hmm. go to on the map right now exist in this leaked image that nobody from gave any stock to. They were just like, nah, it's fake. You know not, why I real. think, you know why I think, uh, Chris is because I don't feel like Titanfall 2 made that big a splash. I agree. So mm, I think that not, people just didn't really me. care that much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, but at the time when it was leaked, and I don't, the person who linked it, I don't think they really gave much context to it, but all, everybody else was just saying like, oh, they were assuming that if this is legit, they better not be putting a Battle Royale in Titanfall 3. And it turns right. out they didn't oh, put a, yeah. a Battle Royale in Titanfall 3. They created just a Battle Royale game in the Titanfall universe. And it became Apex Legends. And I just, I just thought that was insane because I never, funny. I watch, I read video game news all the time, and I never heard about this. And now it's wow. like, geez, man, this map was leaked a year ago. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, <laughs> and nobody wow. cared. Yeah, I just, I kind of want to know who it was that leaked it. First of all, shame on you. How dare you? But then, second, yeah. of, second of all, just knowing that they were like, oh, "I'm gonna drop this," and 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 the fact uh -huh. that nothing happened, I just want to point and laugh at them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. As they sat back in their chairs, like, watch the likes come in. Exactly. <laughs> no, <laughs> nobody. No, nope. no, no. I mean, even this. So when you when you play Apex Legends, you know it's an island, obviously. And as you're flying in out in the lake or the river, like there's these big dinosaur monstery looking things. They're even on this picture in yeah, the water, right. out in the water. Like That's everything funny. is there. It's insane. That's funny. Mm. I love that. Yeah. Um, so this, I think, happened two weeks ago. I don't remember exactly when. But if you are a Redbox user mm. like I am and you use the app, mm. uh, you would have noticed we talked about it a couple months ago how... Redbox started flirting with putting Switch games at Redboxes, and it started yep. in Dallas, and it started spreading a little bit. It came to Nashville a little bit when Mario Aces came out. I remember that's the first time I noticed it was in Nashville, but it wasn't on the app. You had to go to the machine and see hmm. if it was there. Well, now officially on the app, you can rent and, you know, at boxes near you, Nintendo Switch games. So there's three categories now, Xbox One, PS4, Nintendo Switch. They've gotten rid of, they used to have, the 360 on there, I feel hmm. like, was one of the last like last gen's holdouts. Um, but those three are up there. So if you want to rent a game on Nintendo Switch at your Redbox, you can do that on the app now, where you nice. couldn't do that before. Nice. You just had to like search around. I was just like finding Redboxes and be like, oh, okay, good. This one's got Nintendo Switch games. Right. And uh, don't have to do that no more. That's pretty Holler. cool. Holler. Yeah, it's very cool. Chris, what else you got? So the last little bit that I have, just because I feel like this story needs to come from me, but it's not going to be completely shocking. But our friend, or my friend anyways, or I want to call him my friend, Mr. Hideo Kojima, had a, a, an interview with this website called J-Wave. Doggone it. Basically, he Dog just kind of confirmed that, uh, well, it is common for studios to fall behind in their planned release dates. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And uh, Death Stranding is slightly behind our internal plan, mm -hmm. but not by much. So in Hideo Kojima speak, that could be like two years behind. Who the heck knows what That's that means. That's right. Now, the one saving grace about this is that PS6. he has shown a two-hour-plus demo to a few people, 
And he did say also going throughout this article that he plays the game literally every day. So it's in some form of a playable state. Now, granted, that yeah, maybe he took it to Gorilla. Yes, hmm. yeah, he took it to Gorilla, and they were one of the people that got the two-hour demo. He also, the uh, Jordan Vought Roberts, who's possibly going to be re- uh, directing the Metal Gear Solid movie, he got to play that two-hour demo. So there's definitely been people out there that have been playing huge chunks of the game. You know, two hours is nothing to sniff at. So it's not like it's, you can't say that it's like, oh my gosh, it's so far back in development. But it's like, man, this whole time, it, even the time we did hear something, we were hearing about like, oh, it's actually ahead of schedule or, or things are moving so fast and I've never seen a game put together so quickly. And and then it was like, uh, now we're starting to get the, okay, here's, here's classic Kojima of the, well, you know, I need to take some more time or it's not quite there yet. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, so yes. for people like me who are really hoping this game, and it still could come out in 2019, you never know. <laughs> nope. But Not I was doc. very much hoping for 2019. Yeah, I know. Uh, and so I'm, if it is, I'm 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 thinking it's got to be like November, December kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm holding out hope. Cause it's there you go. Be, mm-hmm. Then again, I was also one of those people who was like, well, I could see this being pushed to being a PS5 game. So who knows? Yes. Um. Uh, hopefully some good news for Ed and Chris and other people that enjoy the Overwatch League. Mm. There is a bunch of changes. Coming yeah. to Overwatch. Mm-hmm. A bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch. Um, I don't know them all, um, but obviously we know uh, Baptiste is getting, uh, he's coming pretty soon, mm-hmm. right? He's not here yet, right? No, not he's out, on the, out of the PCR. Yeah. Um, we know that Soldier 76 and Farah are getting um, little buffs along with Junkrat. He's also getting some buffs. McCree is getting a buff, uh, but uh, something else of, of him is actually taking... Uh, taking a hit but um now he's going to be able to take out tanks i think with his his alt so it's going from 275 hit points to 550 mm-hmm. which is uh cray cray yeah Widowmaker's ultimate not only will you be able to see people through walls but you'll also be able to see their health bar so that's kind of cool what's weird is the fact that if she dies that goes away mm-hmm. and i oh, think did it used to stay yeah yeah currently it stays i think yeah but i just think it's weird that she's the only one that when she dies her alt gets taken away like everybody else their alt will still and i think it's weird that they singled her out to take that away when she dies i thought that was. are you saying like may's thing should go away when may dies yeah like if if that's if that's what they're going to do why doesn't everyone's alt go away why just Widowmakers? like why does bob stay if you kill ash you know that kind of a thing but because they're separate I think with every other character, even with like Bob and with May's thing and, and uh, Orissa's bongo, my understanding, and I could, I could be wrong here, but is it only stays up until they respawn. If they respawn, it's gone. And I think that's what's changing about Widowmaker because I think before, even if she came back, it would still have a duration. Is that not right? I don't play Widow very often, hmm. so... I yeah. thought that I, I understood it when I read it. I assumed that's that's kind of how I interpreted that. Like, oh, okay. oh, it's going away now, like other characters do. But I, you I know, it's funny. Way off on that. I always looked at it as them being separate entities from uh, Ash and from May. And uh-huh. so, if May dies, she's already thrown the thing. Yes, right. and so she can die, and that thing can stay out there. Where Widowmaker it feels like she's like, you know, I grant you my sight. And so, like, yeah, when she dies, her sight goes away. Oh, that's I don't know. true. That's true. Um. So I don't know. Again, I don't know all the things, but there's a bunch of changes coming. Yeah, now, I'm, I'm hoping it changes the goats thing a little bit. I know you guys said that, mm-hmm. you know, London Spitfire and some of these guys are kind of f- figuring out some anti goat things. But like, who wants goats the whole time? You know I what I'm saying? Yeah. Just even without these changes, which they are, I think they're going to possibly help that. And I think that's the reason that they're making quite so many of them. But I yeah. do think just Batiste alone is going to potentially yeah. shake up the meta. Just because he has such a strong, his abilities seem ridiculously strong. Yeah. Especially for like team fights kind of things. So I think it's going to make it to where like it just totally makes sense to bring McCree back out and because of Deadeye to shoot through his little boost you wall or whatever and all these Mm -hmm. other things. It could be wrong, but I think just even him and then and coupled with all these changes, I don't think we're going to, I think it's going to be kind of like I had had hoped where starting with stage two, we're probably not going to see much of the goat stuff as much. Yeah. It's not going to be quite as prevalent as it was stage one. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, 
so I got a couple. I, I got a couple stories, and then I got a question for you guys. Okay. So okay. I'll try to run through. Uh, Chris, are you out? Yeah. I okay. Had, then I'll try. I had one of the ones you had too. Oh, okay. So I'll try stuff. to run through these quick. Okay. Um, there's a. I guess you would call him a hacker or a programmer. I don't know what his name's. Mister Bean, thirty-five thousand VR. I've actually seen his name before. He's figured out a way to hack the uh, Mario Kart Wii game to where it's. 24 people oh, yeah. on the screen okay. and so uh and he's got it working at 30 frames and and everything like this so i don't know what he's gonna do with it or if we're gonna be able to try it but it looks crazy mm-hmm. you're like that's you know from guys like me that are used to playing with 12 24 seems nuts that's and with all those <laughs> that's way too many yeah but i thought it was really cool and just he uh watched the video on it that he posted and He's just talking about how difficult it was, and he thinks he could get it up to 29 people, but after 30, Sheesh. like the thing just can't even handle it anymore. Really? Um, yes. Uh, between March 8th and March 10th, for my Tetris 99 ple- people out there, um, they're having the thing called the Maximus Cup, and uh, hmm. you're, you're wanting to get first place as many times as you can. I've still only got it once. And um, they are giving some of the top players 999 Nintendo coins, which is pretty much $10, just shy of $10 of mm. eShop credit. So if you're really good at Tetris, if you've been loving Tetris 99, play a lot between March, te- March 8th and March 10th and try to uh, win them uh, coins. A little bit more Nintendo news. Nintendo Labo, you know, the cardboard, that's way too much money, but it's kind of yeah. cool because you get to build stuff with your kids. They're coming out with a VR edition, oh. mm. which is very interesting. And I don't know if I ever thought of this, but the Nintendo Switch is perfect for VR if it can pull it off. Um, this is it looks like you're mm. going to be able to build a bunch of different stuff like a telescope, um, a, a elephant trunk, a bird. And you kind of like put the joy cons in the in the different pieces. But you're all it's all up to your face. And there's the lenses in there and you're looking at the switch screen and it's going to be in VR. And it's I, to me, this sounds like a no brainer. Like, you know, it's very they're very good with the spatial awareness when it comes to the VR. I mean, when it comes to the switch and moving around the joy con. So maybe this is going to be uh, something really cool for that. So keep your eye out for that mm-hmm. Nintendo Labo VR kit. It'll probably also be very expensive. And then a girl named uh, Chiquita or Chiquita. Evans is the first female ever. Chiquita one six nine. What's her actual name? I don't remember what her actual name is on. Uh, oh, Chiquita one two six uh, was the first woman to be drafted into NBA two K league. Oh yeah, that's and, right. Nice, nice. And so she's gonna be playing for the Warriors. Warrior at Warriors Gaming. Uh, so good on you guys for getting a lady up in there. I would say Happy Black History Month, but we're out of that. So, oh, but she just. Happens to be black. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I thought that was really cool. And she's a lot of people are showing her a lot of love. And um, unfortunately, when it comes to females in gaming, we th- the first question they asked her at one of these things, they were like, so you're leading in points. Should people be surprised? And it's like, why would you even ask a question like what that? A dumb yeah. question. <laughs> yeah, what a dumb question. Seriously. So she's probably used to it. And uh, and so. uh <laughs> Good on you, girl. Glad you're. Uh, so yeah. you're a woman. Are you surprised? Oh, God. That's <laughs> exactly. basically what that says. What said. is that? Yeah, I have no idea why. The dumbest thing I've ever heard. Ugh. Ask a question like that. <laughs> uh, anyway, and I think I'm. I think I'm out. Oh yeah. Oh, and my question for you guys. Yes. What is the hate for the Sonic picture? I don't know. Everybody, there was a, a leaked image of the Sonic the Hedgehog for the live action thing. Have you guys seen the uproar yes. about this picture? I actually haven't seen much uproar, no, actually, to be honest. Everybody's like, oh, my eyes. And they're doing like the melting guy from Temple of Doom and, and stuff mm-hmm. like this. And you're like, do, do any of you guys know what they're talking about? And I put it on Twitter and some people were kind of had kind of answers, but not I, real answers. I think maybe like I think I heard a little bit of that when they showed the Pikachu thing. And I think anytime mm-hmm. you take a 2D animated thing and try to do a 3D animation, mm-hmm. it's going to look different than what you had pictured. But I don't I don't know why it 
people. Is it that it looks too cartoony or the stuff that I saw was uh, like they even there was I think it was maybe it was on Twitter or something like that. The original designer of of Sonic even came out and was like he wasn't like bashing on the thing. But he's like, look, you need to like he was basically saying that the head, the body is too proportional. It needs to be different. The head needs to be bigger and all this kind of stuff, which somebody took a took the image, the full body one. uh, And they did like a slight mock up more similar to what he was talking about. And I will but say this, it looks better is that to me. The full body mock-up doesn't look like this picture that says Sonic the Hedgehog. Like the full body mock-up's got his smile going all the way across his face and it looks a little creepy. But this one's got a smile Let's like off to the one side of his face. Yeah, the anyway. one the, the example that you sent here, Gabe, it looks like Sonic. I don't know. <laughs> That's yeah. what I feel what like. What do you what else do you need? It's like it's like when um Disney does the live action um things like they're doing Lion King, they're doing you know, they did uh, what was the other one that they did? Uh, the Jungle They're Book, about to do stuff. Aladdin. Yeah, yeah, Aladdin. It's like, yeah, it's going to be different. You went from 2D to 3D. It's it's a whole nother ball of wax. Well, and it's a live action thing, I guess. And uh, I'm I like, what know, do you man. want them to look like? Right. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I like, mean, I, you don't want them to I look like a, a real hedgehog. It's definitely a little bit of just the internet being the internet. Of course. But I, I, I don't I see if I can find that image and I can send it to you guys in chat at some point and maybe we can put it on our Twitter. But I saw somebody who slightly manipulated it to look a little bit more like um, one of the cartoon ones, but still had the real live fur and all that kind of stuff. And I will say it looked better. Now, that said, I don't think this looks horrible. I think it looks fine. No, I mean, it's going to be a live yeah. action Sonic movie. I've already got some questions. But it's like, I know. I'm willing to give it a shot. <laughs> I've already got some questions. I've already I mean, got questions. Why? Yeah, but I'm First saying off. we already know it's a bad idea. Yeah, but beyond that, what do you, what what do we want from these guys? Well, because know, we know it's a bad idea, we're just going to continue to bash it. That's just in our nature. That might be true. Mm. It might be true. Uh. You know what? I bet I bet kids are going to love it. You think so? No. <laughs> I think they'll love it because they'll have a bunch of attitude and they'll I'm be just running being around. Optimistic, and, yeah, man. As, Come on. as long as the story, you know, is halfway decent, it should be fine, right? Yeah. I mean. Worst I mean, movies have come out. Yes. Yeah. What are you gonna say, Ed? I, I don't know. I just, I hope it's good. You know. Yeah, I, me too. I, 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 it's, it's almost. We love to, we love to make stars, and then we love to tear them down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know why that is. You know, um, it makes us feel better about ourselves. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but uh, and I mean, no one's seen the movie except the people working on it. So <laughs> wait till it comes yeah. out. And then and then, go watch it yourself, and then say what you thought. I liked it. I yes. didn't like it. Exactly. Then you can tell me that it's going to be horrible. There you <laughs> no, go. I just, That's I don't right. Know. I don't That's get right. It. I'm with you, Edward. Ed, while you're going, yeah, man. What you got for us? Uh, over on the YouTube's, we've got uh, a few hours of Trials Rising. You can check out uh, and parts three through seven, the ending of Far Cry New Dawn. That's up there if you really want to watch me struggle and mm. complain and moan for three hours. Oh, you, man. That's you want to watch that? <laughs> I kind of do now. <laughs> Is that bad? Uh, it, it, I was I was struggling, man. It was a it was a it was a it was a rough day. That's for sure. Oof. Sorry. So uh, sorry. Um, but hey, we've got some free games. Just like I said last week. I said, I know as soon as we finish uh, recording this podcast, they're going to release the games, and they sure mm. did. Uh, over on the PS Plus, you have two games this month because it's they've dropped free games for a few <laughs> things. So you get uh-huh. you get The Witness, which is a great game. Ooh, I feel, I yeah, feel like do, very challenging. Was that on Xbox? I feel like we've gotten it somewhere. Maybe it was on. That was the puzzle one, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, I mm-hmm. enjoy it. It's it's tough for sure, but it, it is a lot of fun. And uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, you'll get on PS Plus this month. Yes, come on, baby. That's the one we were wanting, right, Christopher? Mm-hmm. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> With enthusiasm. I know. Right? Yeah, exactly. Jeez. <laughs> yep. Uh, yes, over that on is. over on the Xbox for the month of March, you'll get Adventure Time: Pirates of the Enchiridion. Uh, oh. From Jeez. March. From Good March sixteenth to Way April fifteenth. <laughs> yeah, bless bless uh, you. March sixteenth to April fifteenth, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare two. Okay. Okay. You can get that the, on your iPad, no problem, but whatever. <laughs> no, this is different. 
for the first half of the month, March 1st to 15th, you'll get Star Wars Republic Commando. And then for Republic's the- going commando. All right. That sounds exciting. <laughs> and from March 16th to the 31st, Metal Gear Rising <laughs> Revengeance. Uh, and Chris, any excitement about that one? Is that a good one? Uh, I never played it. It's not. I mean, it's a Metal Gear game, but not really. It's not. Oh. It's a fake Metal Gear. It, it stars Raiden, and it's a totally different type of combat. It's not a stealth game, really. And Huh. I mean, it's canon, I think, but it's not. It's it's just it's different. It might be. I mean, I know people who love it. I never played it. I never had any interest. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, and then Game Pass has released uh, a few of their releases for the month of March. Available now, Just Cause 4 that was oh. just released in December. So That's right. Uh, They're doing great. Yeah. I'm actually looking forward to, t- to trying that one out. Um, Go I'm, blow I'm, some I'm, stuff up. Yeah, lots yeah. of explosions. I'm glad I didn't buy it. Uh, exactly. And Lego Batman 2, that's available. Coming March 14th, they are re-adding Fallout 4 and F1 2018. Ah. Hmm. So there you go. And I'm sure they will release more games throughout the month, and we'll do our best to keep you posted. There you go. Yeah. Good job, Edward. Good job, you. Thanks, bud. You're welcome. Um, well, every week we ask you guys a question. Last week <laughs> was no different. Nope. Nope. We asked you guys opposite from the question before. What game have you picked up recently and put oh, right back down? Starting over on the Facebook group. Tyson Godwin. Red Dead Redemption 2. Played two hours and got distracted by NBA 2K19 and now Anthem. Hmm. I intend to get back to it soon. Oof. Jason uh, Chan's same thing. Red Dead 2. I feel like it doesn't respect my time at all. Oh, wow. Yikes. Brian Nebel, Road Crew. This hurts me. Apex Legends. Mm. I picked it up and had to put it down because I've been so busy with work and stuff around the house. Mm. I really want to pick it up, though. Okay, that's not so that's, bad. Okay, yeah, that's... He put it yeah, down I for thought, a different reason. That's just a timing yes, yes. issue. I, I, yeah, I thought he was coming at it. Nerdish 01000011 at dspin67. Mm. The Division 2 beta. Mm. Huh. I, I know it's the beta. It didn't wet my whistle. Or... Quit my whistle. Mm, that's all right. I I wanted to play. I wanted to play more. It didn't do anything for. Me. Wait. I wanted to play more. It didn't do anything for me. I will see if my coworkers or online buddies get it and play with them. Well, there you go. Mm. Ed, you were liking that one though. There's hope. Yeah, I had a great time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jeff, the Android at remake yourself. Watch Dogs Two. Ooh. It wasn't ooh. the game I thought it was. That's not the game's fault. I'd like to get back. <laughs> Why don't I'd you like accept to... it for what it is? <laughs> no. Yeah, two plus two is twenty-two. I thought, <laughs> I'd like to get back and give it the old college try, though. There you go. There it is. He hasn't completely given up on it. Alex at Alex KY eighty seven. Hitman. Mm. Not sure it's the lack of a story like the original had, or maybe I just don't have the patience to take someone out like I once did. Mm. We live in an instant gratification world, and I can't be dressing up as a super bottle to off a dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. That's the beauty of Hitman, baby. Oh, that's amazing. That's good. Got no oh, time my for that. gosh, that's so <laughs> Ain't nobody funny. nobody got time for that. I love it. Over on Discordia, good morning games, Mark Boucher. Kingdom Hearts 3. Mm -hmm. If the fans of the franchise don't even know what's going on, (laughs) how in the heck am I supposed to? Uh, (laughs) Shut it off after an hour. Uh, Ouch. I mean, do you have to know? Is it about the story? I don't know. Some games you just got to, you just enjoying the thing. Yeah. Calm Fury Anthem. The gameplay was fine. It was a decent enough game to play while listening to podcasts, but I'm afraid to play it now when it's bricking PS4 consoles. Mm -hmm. I know that's right. Mm -hmm. All right. Nathan Dugas. 
apart from Assassin's Creed 3, which I've tried multiple times and it never grabbed me. Amen. There have been three recent ones all on PC. Prototype. I was hoping for something like Infamous and found quickly that it didn't feel that good. Mm -hmm. Forza Horizon 4. I was spoiled by the... Ooh, listen to this. I was spoiled by the Batmobile in Arkham Knight and the cars felt nothing like that in the demo. <laughs> Finally... <laughs> Finally, it's just interesting you said that because people gave the Batmobile and Arkham Knight so much trouble. Yeah. Finally, Sunset Overdrive. Mm. It was literally the one Xbox One game I really wanted to play. So when it came to PC, I bought it immediately, but quickly found it didn't feel as good as I had hoped. Thankfully, mm. Steam's refund policy allowed me to return the two full games I bought and the demo of Forza kept me from buying the full game. And then he downloaded it on Game Pass. <laughs> exactly. That's what I would do. Oh, man. Thank you guys for answering this week's question. You know where to find us. Facebook.com slash Married to the Games. Twitter.com slash MTTG cast. Married to the Games.com, of course. Like Ed said, YouTube.com slash Married to the Games. And on Patreon, if you want to throw a dollar in the tip jar, <laughs> we would appreciate it so much. And uh, Router. Rate us on iTunes so Gabe will love Far Cry 5, even if he has to call the herd. <laughs> Aww, <laughs> there you go. It's what I do. I call the herd. I call the herd. Well, let's get into some questions. <laughs> Discord. We're gonna start with our boy Chalfie. Oh guys, yeah, that, that are, Chalfie. Are you, come on, Chalfie. Yeah, Chalfie. Ask are you us guys? <laughs> I'm Ask trying. Are you guys good at or even like to dance? That well, is Abe a, is and Big Ten Four. I'd love to job dance. To dance. So partially. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I uh, shake it on the catwalk. Yeah, yeah, on the catwalk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you do Edward? your little thing on the catwalk. Edward, do you like to dance? I like to dance. I'm not good at it, but I am good. I'm better at dancing games than I am dancing in real life. Hey. That makes Ooh. Sense. There you go. I like it. I like it. Tim? I love to dance. Absolutely. Nice. I can hold my own. Chris? I cannot dance. But, but he loves like to, to dance. No, uh, I mean, I'll dance a little bit here and there, but it's one of the things like out, like Stacy loves to dance. And this is kind of, this kind of is crappy because she really loves to dance, but we don't go to dancing places because I don't know what the heck I'm doing when I'm out there. Now I will say this. Love that. When I was younger, like when yeah. I was like a young kid, like I danced all the time and I feel like I had rhythm. So I don't think, I think it's like an, I just screwed it up a few times and then I got all self-conscious about it. Oh, I feel yeah. like it's a thing where like if I went somewhere and took some lessons, I bet I could learn me some dancing. I could find my rhythm. But if you I just mean, put you me out a on two a step? floor, you got, nah, you got man, a solid two-step? Do I have a what? Do you have a solid two-step? Like elbows in, two-step? Yeah, two-step. Uh, I've never done, I've never oh, tried that's a two-step. So. Fundamentals, right. brother. Well, fundamentals. I'm teaching you in a week and a half. That's right, man. I Get mean, there. I mean, we tried to record a stupid floss video for my nephew after 300, and I couldn't even do that. I well, mean, the floss is a little difficult. Okay. Well, I'm going to trust you when you say that. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people can't floss. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> that was so much fun. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, see, I had fun doing all that and acting a fool there, but it's like hey. if you put me out on a real dance floor, I, the whole time I'll just be self-conscious because I know I yeah. don't know what the heck I'm doing. I can't do anything. You need to go back and watch Hitch. <laughs> yes, you do. I guess. Yep. Yep. You'll be able to do it. Right. You can do it. I believe in you. Well, you better hitch him when you see him, Gabe. Yep, I got him. All right, good. It's gonna happen. All right, Beefmaster Serta. It's twelve fifteen a.m. and you just start. You're just starting a fantastic Halo gaming session on Friday night in your mom's basement. Okay, you're, Matt Lighty. <laughs> exactly. Is this Matt Lighty? Your dingbat of a friend just viciously shook your twelve ounce Mountain Dew bottle. At what time are you brave enough to try opening it? Oh. Um. Shoot. I mean, you gotta. In give between it a matches, you gotta. You gotta. You gotta, yeah, you just, gotta gas it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like, yeah. Slow, slow it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I like that. 
You've you press on the bottle a little bit when it, you can. You do. You I know, it, but when you can, when you can dimple that bottle, very, yeah, uh -huh. very you, you, slow. You're getting mm -hmm. there. You're getting there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, that's a good, good answer. Yep. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Matt Lighty. I mean, Beefmaster for that. All right, uh, <laughs> Eric. Eric Thompson. A very kind Ash Wednesday to you, fine brethren. Today marks the beginning of the season of Lent. That's so right. Some Christian traditions observe Lent as a time of fasting, prayer, and sacrifice for the 40 days between Ash Wednesday and Easter. It is common for Christians to give up something during that time. Many people fast all meat, for example, sweet treats, TV, smoking, etc. Whether you do or don't participate in Lent, what is something you'd be willing to give up for 40 days to increase your faith or in some way improve your personal life? And whether you do or don't keep it, I do very much wish you a blessed Lenten season. Thank you, Eric Thompson. Hashtag don't forget about Extra Life. <laughs> <laughs> Always on nice. that Extra Life train, baby. Yeah, I love it. We need it. We need it. Um, I love that, man. And a happy Ash Wednesday to you as well. Um, my wife is Catholic. I... Um, and so we <laughs> Catholic ish. Yes. And I'm <laughs> like, no. my wife is Catholic. I'm Catholic ish. Yeah. Catholic. Not, yeah. I'm not really, but um, married it in. It doesn't matter. And, uh, and to be honest, we kind of don't, don't uh, do anything. But I think what I'd want to give up for 40 days is sugar just to go cold turkey on sugar, just to kind of see what that does to my body. And, there you go. You know, to kind of make make me a little healthier. I think that'd be good. I have a wicked sweet tooth from time to time, and so that would uh, help curb that. That is for sure. What do you say, Edward? I don't know. I I'm honestly trying to think what I would give up that would in, improve my spiritual life. Mm, that's yeah. that, and that I um. And the black tar heroin doesn't help. No, it really doesn't. It kind of clouds things. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of clouds things so good. So yeah, I don't know. Um, because and 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 like uh, like Router, I I we did not grow up uh, observing Lent like that. Yeah. So um, and so because of that, it's hard for me to fathom how that how a person giving up chocolate improves a spiritual life. And I'm not coming down on it. I just don't no, understand no. the correlation. Yeah, um, the, the correlation tends to be that like, oh, and so now whenever you're wanting that thing or craving that thing or whatever that thing you gave up when you're like, oh, I'm going to go do this. Oh, I gave that up. And so instead they would go like into prayer or they would do something else that's more whenever they have that craving for the thing. That's okay. the reminder that, oh, now I should go like read a that's passage right. in my Bible or I should pray yeah. or I should do those things. Well, that's how that it was explained to me. Yeah, Not okay. about the chocolate. That yeah. and it, so, it is also a sacrificial time. Yeah, you know because this this is exactly what Christ ended up doing for us. So it's more of a reflective time as well. So you give up something, as in you know, it could be something mm -hmm. small, as a yeah. reflection of that. So. But it's go. not supposed. Some people use it as like a diet. It's, it's, exactly. That's, no. You know, yeah, <laughs> right. Like this is not point. New Year's. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's not yeah. New Lent. New you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> new Lent. New you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh my gosh, Chris. What about you? Um, so uh, my I my parents are or my my mom and my dad when they were married and then my mom after that um, they grew up Episcopalian which mm -hmm. is kind of like Catholics but I always yep. called them laid back Catholics because like the yep. priests can marry and <laughs> then they have like the traditional stuff you know and like they'll go yep. up and do communion every time but then they're also very laid back in other areas. It's Catholics um, with benefits. Yeah, kind of exactly. Um, but basically they would do my, my, so my parents would do Lent, but they didn't really make it. Like, I don't remember it being a big to do with us kids. And when I got more, a little bit older, I've observed it, you know, numerous times, but like it always sneaks up on me because it's not a part of the stuff that I do now. Like the church that I go to now doesn't make a huge deal about mm -hmm. Lent the way, you know, like the more traditional churches do. Um, so I, in the past I've given up things I've given up, you know, I've done the traditional kind of like at the Catholic way. I've given up, you know, red meat or I've given up sweets or I've given up, you know, soda or I've given up, you know, whatever it is, a thing that I would tend to, whatever I might be really into at that given time, something that I feel like, mm -hmm. oh, you know, that way, whenever I, that moment comes and I want to go do the thing or have the, whatever it is that I've cut out then I think, oh, and now instead I'll go do this other thing. But mm. yep. I, I'm not like a person that does it every single year and, and all that kinds of stuff. Yeah, I've actually never observed Lent. We didn't uh, observe it growing up mm -hmm. yeah. uh, either. Uh, it wasn't until I got married that Jenny came to me one year. She was like, hey, what do you want to uh, give up for Lent? And I was like, 
I I don't uh I don't know. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, I'm good. Um, yeah, exactly. I think uh a thing if I were to come up with something though that I think could maybe uh I don't even do it that much. That's a problem. I was gonna say social media. Mm. Um just because, you know, even if you're not trying to, sometimes you can play the comparison game and things like that when you're on, you know, Instagram oh, yeah. or you know, it's it's not my go to. Yeah. Uh, I'm not that bad with that, but I could see myself, you know, mm. it'd be a good reminder just, you know, when I pick up my phone to do something, it's like, all right, wait, let's take a second. Let's, you know, meditate on the things of the Lord or, you know, yeah. pray about something or pray about somebody. That's one of the yeah. things I'm trying to exercise just in regular life is like when mm-hmm. you think of somebody, pray for them and text them. Yeah, just say, that. hey, man, thinking about you. You ain't got to be like thinking about you and praying for you. You must be going through something right now. You going through something. Yeah, I'm not trying to be yeah. in people's business, but just like text them and say, hey, bud, love you. Hope you're doing good. And, you know, say a little prayer for him or something like that. Keep him moving. Love Gabe's going to yeah. quit social media for Lent and he's going to come back and be like married to the baking. And we're going to have totally changed up the Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be something totally different. <laughs> we're going to be talking all about all kinds of crazy stuff over there. And he's like, what happened? Uh, yeah, exactly. Let's talk about unleavened bread, shall we? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's going to come back all swole. It's like, I'm married to the gains now. That's right. Gains, married to the gains. That's right. I, I like it. it. That's awesome. Thank you, uh, Eric, for that. That was that was really great. Um, KT120, because you guys have an epic bromance going on, who do you think has the best bromance in gaming? Mine has to be Ooh. fairly obvious. One Commander Shepard, the male Shep, obviously, and Garrus Vicarian. They are brothers oh, yeah. forged through the bonds of war. The moments they have together are fantastic. Yes, I agree. Yes. Who's the, I don't know who that is. From, from Mass, Mass, Effect? Mass Effect. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. That's a good one. Yeah, that is a really good one, actually. You know, because it's in gaming and not in a game, I'm going to say Nola North and Troy Baker. Oh, man. They really do in real life. My favorite oh, yeah. bromance. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. They definitely have a bromance going on. I love that. Yep. Um, I'm going to say uh, Titus and... Whoever that other guy was in in Final Fantasy X, I feel like he had a he had a buddy in Final Fantasy X that he was running around with. I just can't remember what his name was. Nice. They used to play uh, what was it called? Something like Blast Ball or something like that. And you guys aren't gonna be able to help. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, Glass nope. Ball. That's yeah, it. you're on your own. No, it's like Blast Ball or something like. I can't remember what it was. I'm gonna say him and his buddy that would play that game together. <laughs> Blitz Ball. Blitz Ball is what it was called. Again, you guys don't care. <laughs> oh, yeah, Lucio Ball. I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Chris McCracken. Man, I, I am drawing a blank on game characters, but I'm going to use the, the little loophole of in gaming, and I'm going to say OGE and AKM, they're players for the Dallas Fuel, and whenever oh, they win, they, nice. they, they always give each other a big hug. Or not always, but a lot of times, yeah. I thought you were going to yeah. say Kratos and Mamir. You know, I don't. I Kratos did not like Mimir too. for a lot of that, so <laughs> yeah, you can't really call like that a bromance. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say you and Kojima. <laughs> I, mean, I wish it. I wish he was hitting me right. up and be like, "Hey, man, you want the two-hour demo? It's gonna be another two years, so let's just get this demo." I'm be like, "All yeah. right, what's up?" <laughs> <laughs> we need to make that happen. I know. Right. Talk on it. Hashtag get Chris to play Death Stranding. Mm-hmm. Uh, what say you, Tim? Uh, I mean. Nathan and Sully. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. That is a good one. Um, The other one that I was thinking of was in Infamous. Not Second Son, but in Infamous. uh, Who was the guy? What's his name? Max. Hey, man. Like, that guy. (laughs) Yeah, that was always running around with Cole. With Cole, yeah. Those two always had a decent bro. Yeah, they were funny. Yeah, they were funny. Mm. So, yeah. That's (laughs) That's a great question, though. Thanks, Yeah, that's a good one. That made me think. Uh, Nathan Dugas, do you guys have any weird things you are OCD about? In my case, if I can see a number for the volume level on something, it has to be set at a multiple of five. Oh, weird. Very huh. interesting. Um, I'm a little like that with the gas. Yeah. Like, you... I'm not just going to let the pump stop it on like $41.23. Really? Yeah, Go on. <laughs> Is that are, right? you e- are you an even oh, guy? Yeah. Uh, it depends on how many times I've missed it. Cause you know nowadays with how expensive gas is, you're you like know, no kidding. You're at forty one twenty three, and you just go, you just pop it. It's like forty seven seventy three. You're like forty seven seventy three. Exactly. Um, 
So I, I like to end on the dollar, but I'll I'll take the I'll take the closest zero. Mm. That's so And funny. if I can't get that zero, I'll land I'll do a five. I if always I, have to. I always go for the closest zero. Even really? Yeah. When I tip or everything, I always want to zero it Even. Out. Yeah, I do not like it just stopping on just some random number. I don't Is know. Is that right? Yep. Yeah, I know. That's stupid. I get it. Yeah. Ed, do you have anything like that? I don't have anything like that. And like at the gas station, sometimes I'll be like, I'm going to try to stop it right at 25. And then it'll be that's like, that's what I do oh, too. Nope. I guess it's 2506. All right. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's I've kinda... landed that thing a couple times and nobody yeah. was there to see it. <laughs> I'm, getting itchy. I'm getting itchy just that's thinking so about funny. that. funny. I was yep. like, Kung, 30, zero, zero. Whoa. Yep. It makes your day, doesn't it, dude? Nobody's You're like, Woo. there. That just so won I'm the like, fake I'm lottery of gas. G. <laughs> I love Chris, that. I mean, I really besides your battery life. Question. Besides no, your battery you, you life. You do not. You do not <laughs> yeah. have to answer this. How's your battery? <laughs> My battery's fine. <laughs> when his battery's below 100. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, put, I put a tweet out like a couple <laughs> weeks ago or whatever. About like my my battery just went to sixty five and I put it on low power mode and Gabe hit me back with some like snarky like oh you need help or something like that that was a legit tweet I put it on low power <laughs> mode <laughs> yes it was it wasn't a lie or me being silly that was legit it was I knew it was thing. that's why I said you need help <laughs> intervention we did intervention where you just have to stare at a battery just tick all the way down know, to right? like three yep. percent I will say that you can plug having it in. owned an electric car for a while now. It's. I think it's helping me get past this issue. That makes know. sense. Yeah. Okay. Good. Slowly but surely, it's helping out. That makes total sense. Mm -hmm. Nice. So besides, like when you have to, like sometimes they say, oh, if your phone's acting up, just drain the battery or whatever like that. Mm -hmm. Besides something like that. Yes. Have you ever, Chris, had that prompt come up that's like, fifteen oh, percent? No. You better charge. No. That's so Does funny. Not, that's happen. amazing. <laughs> I love not. that. I have done, like you said, the times where it's like, okay, I just got a new a new OS update or something like that, and it's acting a little funky. I'll I'll drain it to zero, and mm -hmm. then you know, and I'll time it to where it's right at the end of the day when I'm going to bed, anyways. But no, <laughs> outside of that, no. And I've always like literally. So I don't remember the exact circumstance where we were at that day, but it, the reason that I put it at sixty five into low power mode is because I know, okay, I don't have my rechargeable battery backup battery pack with me. And I know that where we're going to be, we're going to be out and about all day long. I'm going to be on the move. I don't know when I'm going to be able to plug it in later on. And if it does get to 10 or 20 and gives me that prompt, I'm going to be freaking out. So I'm just going to go ahead and it low right now. You, I that's think about amazing. it all. I, I plan it all out and I think it all out. I love it. Oh, that's so funny, man. I, I love, love it. I, can't, I don't know how people live with laptops. I'm like constantly like, I got to plug in. <laughs> what's, the, what's the lowest it's been to in recent history? Maybe 50. Wow. I'm at okay. 61 at the moment, but I know I'll be going to bed after this, so I'm okay. And plugging it in. And so, actually, I have, a, I have a cable right over there. I could reach it in between. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm on my laptop, no power. I'm at 55% right now. I know, you're an insane man. I know, man. I'm rolling the dice. I'm rolling the dice. <laughs> not really. <laughs> there you got seven more minutes of podcast. It's not really a dice roll. That's right. Oh, that's that's funny. Oh, that was a great question. Thank you, Nathan. Calm Fury, I'm currently sitting on my old campus for my company's recruiting event. When's the last time you went back to your alma mater and why? Didn't go to college. Yeah. Chris? Uh, didn't go to college. <laughs> I've been back to my high school before. No, oh, there you, you go. You didn't go to college, Chris? I went to two years of, no three years of community college, but I didn't go to a four-year university and I, I didn't get a degree. Mm. Gotcha. So, yeah. Ed? Yeah, I didn't graduate from college. I visited it. <laughs> We're a bunch of bums up in here. I know, right? <laughs> and look I at us. Or We're flying. That you can make it and you don't need to spend $100,000. Exactly. <laughs> That's right. Right? All uh, right, Tim, you had to have graduated Yes, college. I graduated from the University of Delaware. Uh, the last time I was there... Was that when it, it, was, a, when it was a colony or... Yeah, close enough. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the last time I was there, uh, it was for my cousin's wedding, and we took Piper with us because Piper's middle name is... Delaware? Uh, no, it's the name of the dorm that Lauren and I met. Piper Delaware Router. <laughs> Piper Delaware Router. That would be amazing. No, no, it would be Piper University of Delaware Router. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Instead, of she's Delaware. Piper 2B Router. 
Piper 2, Piper Room 2B. I'm in Building 2B. That's where I met your mother. Piper West Quad Router. (laughs) Piper West Quad Router. Piper, we're streaking through the quad into the gymnasium router. Oh, my gosh. That's funny. Piper Blue, you're my boy router. Yeah. What's Um, her middle name? Her middle name is Harrington. And the uh, that's the, right. B- the dorm building that we met was in. We were in Harrington C. And so nice. we went there and we actually got her picture uh, right at the same building when we went last time. It was really it was actually a really cool moment. So. It was All really right. Cool. So let me ask. Let me ask you guys this, since n- none of you guys <laughs> went to college except for Tim. Right. What about like your childhood home? Yeah. Have anybody been back no. to their childhood home? I, yeah. I, I drive by it all the time, but I want to go in. And oh, look do around. you? Oh, so you? you see it all the time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What about yeah. you there, uh, Chris? My house that I grew up uh, or that I went to when we were in middle school and high school, the ones before that, I don't even remember where they are, but th- that house in particular, I actually drive past it every so often because it's it's I kind of have to if I'm going from my dad's house to my mom's house, but I've not like pulled down the street to really go look at it, but you can see it from the main road as I'm just passing every now and then I'll glance over and be like, Oh yeah, there it is. But, okay. Mm-hmm. So you guys are both in the town that you were born in. Yeah. My, That's crazy. Well, yeah, I, I'm in the, I'm not in the town I was born in, but it's, you know, it's not far. And my dad actually still lives in the town that I was born in or well that I was well, raised in. I wasn't born there. Right. about about you? Uh, yeah. When, you know, we moved two years ago, I still drive by the Willow Springs house every once in a while. And even, no, I'm talking about like your childhood. Yeah. Yeah. And then I was going to say like in Philly, when we did that same trip to, uh, to university of Delaware, we drove up to see uh, the old house that I was, uh, I stayed in for about 15 years up in Philly. And it was, it was really cool. I love doing that stuff. There you go. I went, I took Jenny by out the house. My parents built when I was like three or four, I took Mm. her there. Gosh, maybe seven years ago now, maybe longer than that. Oh, I can't that's remember. Awesome. That was the last time, but it's out in Santa Cruz. So, it's, you know, we never, I'm never out that way. Nice. Hmm. There you go. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, Daniel Ferrugia. I recently fired up Burly Men at Sea, which was a charming little story driven game that was a PS Plus game a while back and I'd never played. Mm-hmm. I played it through once. It took about 30 minutes and found that I wanted to play it again to see the other options. This was the intent with the game design. What games have you stumbled upon in your collection that you didn't choose for yourself that turned out to be much loved gems? Huh. That's a good question. Yeah. I don't remember how I knew about uh, Guacamelee. But oh, yeah, I feel like one. that was like a PS Plus game or something like that. And I was like, I'll give that a try and ended up really liking it, mm-hmm. really liking it. Um, same with Golf Story, but that was more of a community thing. Like some of the community was like, you should play Golf Story on the Switch. It's so great. And then, I, you know, don't even like those kind of games and ended up really liking it. So I'd say those two. Edward, what about you? Stumble on one? I probably would say Overwatch. Um, mm. Holy crap! Just because uh, Gabe, you and Stancil were really going, uh, trying to get me to play it, and I was dragging my feet, and I was like, "Remember what happened with H one Z one?" We're like, "It's nothing like that." We promise. <laughs> yeah. Don't so, hold yeah. it against us. <laughs> so thank you guys. Mm-hmm. Chris, um, I I had a similar uh, situation with uh, Guacamelee. I got it as a PS Plus game and really enjoyed it. I played it on the Vita. I believe. And then uh, the other one is Runner 2. I believe I got it as a PS oh, yeah. Plus game or it was gifted to me or something. I, I didn't, I, I had not played a Runner game. I'd heard of it, but I'd never played it. And somehow I got uh, that game, not of my own going out and just buying it, and fell in love with that game and then went back and played the other ones and then, you know, was hammering for part three to come out and, and all that. Mm-hmm. There you go. Nice. Tim? That's awesome. Yeah, I think I'm with uh, Ed on this. It was Overwatch for me. Um, just cause it's definitely not something that I probably would have picked up had it not been for you gents. Mm-hmm. Um, but I also remember one back in the day called brothers. That was that dual joystick. Mm-hmm. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's right. Game. Yeah. 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 But you yeah, did like that. I loved that game. And I just, it was a PS, I think it was a PS plus game at the yeah. time. I'm like, I'm going to try it and absolutely enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Nice. Yeah. That was a good one. All right, great question. Thank you. On to Twitter, at FedGamer. Is there a particular game you go to when you're stressed? Basically, like, comfort food for your mind. Uh, yeah, Clash Royale. Definitely. 
Clash is just like, it's just forever there, always. Yeah, if your console's not there, definitely just boop, pop that yeah. phone up. And there you go. Or if like the internet on the bus is bad and I could just use my phone's internet mm-hmm. and I could just play it and lay in the bunk and just zone out Love it. for sure. That's a good one. What about you, Chris? Um, You know, I don't really feel like I go to gaming at all when I'm stressed out. Um, if I am frustrated with an outside circumstance of some sort, a lot of times I will go and play like an Overwatch or some type of shooter game because I can get out aggression that way without like, you know, taking out aggression some other way. Um, mm-hmm. it, it, that, so that's an outlet. But when I'm stressed out because like work, you know, something big deadlines coming or, or something else is stressing me out, I don't feel like I go to gaming at all to really. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. I do the exact well, opposite, actually. In fact, I did that today. I, I was working. A, I worked a lot of hours mm-hmm. this morning, and I wasn't gaming this morning. And I decided, like, right around lunchtime, like, you know what? I'm gonna take 30 minutes, go upstairs, and and liberate an outpost on Far Cry New Dawn. And it felt great. Mm. It's like a, it's a nice little just break. I, and I kind of like to do that, especially when I'm stressed. And it's not. It's just whatever game I'm playing at the time. It's just, just to go up, play for a little bit, and then and then I feel a lot better. There you go. Did everybody say one? Uh, I tend to download games. Um, I, I like if I'm stressed, I'll want to play like a calm game. So I don't know how many times I've gone and said, you know what, I'm gonna download Firewatch and I'm gonna play that. Mm, yeah. And while it's downloading, I'll be like, um, maybe you know, what? no, maybe I'll download Journey and I'll play that. That one's nice and call me. And I never actually get to playing the game. I just re-download games that I think I want to play, and then just give up and go do something else. Oh, that's hilarious. That's funny. So you like the idea of having them in your library, but yes. you don't necessarily play them. Exactly. Got and it. then I need room. I delete them, and then I get yep. stressed a week later, and I'm like, yep. I should re-download that. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, I love that. That's really That cool. is so funny. Yep. That's good. All right. Final question at Chad Fackler one. While waiting for the wife to get home so we could have dinner, I conjured up these late night hunger quick fires for us. Here, oh, hey. Hey. Nice. Here we go. Here we go. Favorite burger. Ooh, J. Alexander's. Oh, that is a good burger. Yeah, it is. Mm. Chris? Dang. Gosh. Ed? Double, double. Ooh, Ooh, toil and trouble, baby. Tim? Mm. Did you say the toilet's in trouble? <laughs> no, double, double. I'm close. <laughs> you know what? what? You said? Toil, toil, toil and, and trouble. Oh, like toil the and trouble. Witch. Okay, I was like, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that makes sense, too. <laughs> double, double, the toilet's in trouble. All right. That's right. Oh, <laughs> uh, You're about I might to get be it. going Burger Up on this one, which is a local place here. Oh, nice. They yeah, do Burger Up is delicious. Very delicious burgers. Chris, you got one? I guess I'm going to have to go with... Uh, um, there's Wendy's. A, I think it's called the All-American. It's at uh, Twisted Root. I really like that mm. one. There you go. I'm changing mine. I'm going back to Sonic. Sonic Burgers. Oh, man. nice. I could, I could go for a Sonic Burger all day, every day. If that's we're talking true. fast food, I'm going Five Guys. Yeah, that's Ooh, what I thought you were going to say, Five Guys fast food? I mean, yeah. it falls in the category. I see it where you're does. coming from because you got to order it and wait. And I know, don't have a drive through. Yeah. I thought the same thing, but every time I see it categorized, it's his fast food. So I was like, all right, I guess it is. Interesting. I would have thought of it as fast food. Yeah. yeah. All right. Favorite pizza toppings? Pepperoni, baby. Yeah. I'm a simpleton. Yeah, I'm with you. Pepperoni. I do like I barbecue putting, chicken putting, too, though. I, Ooh. Yep. I was just going to say, I'm on a barbecue ch- chicken kick right now. Nice. So. Nice. I tell you what, you can keep them pineapples off my pizza. Though. No, yeah, man, you gotta have that exactly. Pineapple, What's wrong with that? It's pineapple fine. and pepperoni, no, baby. Not. Pineapple ain't supposed to be warm like that. Oh, yeah, so good, so good. What? No, dog. Right, what's your fa- fa- What's your favorite too? Uh, pepperoni and pineapple, but no, it's uh, not. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll take pepperoni for now, uh, just to move this along. Favorite Chinese, <laughs> favorite Chinese dish. Ooh. Fried rice. Ooh, there I thought you said five guys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm the chubby ninja, but I'm not that chubby of a ninja. Yeah, that's the obese ninja. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, fried rice. I love fried mm, rice. That man. is good. That's good. Chicken fried rice. Yep. Mm. I'll say General Sows. There you go. Chris? I like broccoli and beef. Ooh, yeah, nice. Beef That's good. A good one. Yeah. I've never heard it in that order before. <laughs> <laughs> what is the order you've heard it in? Beef, broccoli? Beef and, beef and broccoli. broccoli. Beef yeah. and broccoli. I've always heard broccoli. the opposite way. I feel like it's listed on menus that way. <laughs> uh, huh. I've, I've been loving green pepper steak recently. Uh, oh, the nice. restaurant down the street from us has an amazing one. So oh. That makes sense. It. Really good. Uh, favorite barbecue items? Uh, barbecue chicken? <laughs> yeah. I kind of don't know what don't that means. I don't know what that means. I don't Me know. either. I, I think barbecue he's asking, like, when you go to a barbecue place, what do you get? Like, for Gabe, I would have thought he said ribs. Oh, I was going to okay. say ribs. Oh. Yeah. I mean, that's how I interpret it. It's, bec it's because <laughs> Chris is taking me to a barbecue place. <laughs> and that's what I get, to a barbecue place, too. Unless, oh. he, unless he doesn't want to. <laughs> now that, I'll be not, I hope you're eating meat for Lent. Now that you said ribs, I'm I'm definitely going with ribs. Yeah. Oh man, pulled pork, baby. Come on. Ooh, that's yes, good. Yes, that too. Oh lord, mm. give me all the things. Some hot sauce. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh. What do you say, Chris? I'm all about the brisket. Brisket. Nice. Oh, I don't know if you can go wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm not mad at any of y'all's answers. No, I'm usually mad at so at least all. two of y'all. <laughs> all right, uh, yay or nay? Philly cheesesteak. Yay. Absolutely yay. Yay. So here's the deal. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Hang on, hang Chris on, hang on, hang on. Throwing the oh, just hold up and listen to me. Mm -hmm. Calm jets here. Mm -hmm. I want to. I'm going to say yes, but I've never had like anything that resembles a legit Philly cheesesteak. So I don't know if I'd like a legit one. Like oh, from okay. you, would, you, you wouldn't would love like, a legit. No, you one. wouldn't. You wouldn't like. I it. don't. I mean, when you hear cheese whiz, what? I'm just like, I'm not sure. I'm that's, into that's that. exactly what I was going to say. I don't do the cheese whiz. Okay, no, so no, you I don't get the that. cheese whiz either. Okay. I don't either. So my understanding was that's like the legit version. So I was like, well, I'm going to stick with this shenanigan. No, it no, is, no. It, it is the it. legit version, okay. but it's not the best version. Okay. No. Yeah, but I'm just Philly you. cheesesteak in general? Like, oh, yeah. I like me a Philly yeah. cheesesteak. Heck, yeah. Absolutely. All right. Uh, pizza rolls. Yay or nay? Yay. Yay. Yeah. Why not? Uh, nay. What? Come on, Ed. He's just being difficult. He doesn't no. want to be different. What? That's the first. No, because <laughs> yeah. they're like they're like frozen on again. the inside half the time. <laughs> yeah, they are. Well, that's yeah. if you don't cook them right. Well, let's say it's cooked right. Are you eating the? Pizza All right. Roll? Well, nah. this next one is the same way. Hot. Pockets. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on. So you're saying, Ed? <laughs> if I'm we're all pizza. No, 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 I understand. I'd rather a pizza as well. Yes. If we're all hanging out and I was like, "Hey, I'm gonna make some pizza rolls quick," you wouldn't have any. Yeah, I'd be like, I'm good. I'll, no, I'm good. Wow, really? You would you would reject a pizza roll from the Chubby Ninja? Probably. That's weird. I'd be all over that. I'd be like, hey, That's if, a you, mistake. if you're making it, I'm eating it. <laughs> That's a <laughs> terrible mistake. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, That's please only you, have man. pizza rolls at your house with it. <laughs> yeah. Because like, oh, man, for breakfast, look, pizza rolls. <laughs> 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 That's all we got. <laughs> Yeah, you here, must have some peanuts somebody, with the shells. Right? I'm sorry to whoever hurt you when you were younger, Ed. That's but right. Now that you're grown, we need to make you some good pizza rolls so you can, because they yeah, are man. good. I understand the frozen in the middle. Yes. The frozen yeah. in the middle kind is somebody didn't love you good enough to, See, to, to make me, them in, right. In my head, pizza rolls and Hot Pockets are the same. It's just well, like, and oh, they're both it good. Is. It's too it's greasy. A, Get out of it's here. It's a it's a giant it's, pizza roll. It's a pizza it a wrapped pizza up roll. like a burrito. It's a pizza burrito. Why do you it's not a like a burrito. pizza burrito? That's the next question. Hot pockets, yes or no? yes or no? Yes. No. Yes. No on the hot pockets. Remove what from is sleeve. wrong with you? You who hurt oh. you as a child? Wait, wait, wait. So you just <laughs> went from pizza rolls, but the hot pockets is too much for you? Yeah. I, I just hot pockets. I feel like if you get to do a pizza roll, it's supposed to be bite size. You throw them in. You yes. keep gaming. The 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 hot pocket. Uh, Usually, isn't very well fortified. Yes, yeah, it is very greasy, like Ed saying. It's usually coming out of both ends by the time you true. get it, and it's gonna burn the inside of your mouth like crazy because there's yes. no way to cool it down because it's a pocket. Yep, remove from a the sleeve. Hot pocket placed yep. directly in toilet. Exactly. <laughs> I've never had any issue with a hot pocket. I'll eat me a what? hot pocket. What? No. <laughs> that's, that's a lie. Chris, I've, I've, never you had, up I've never burned my mouth or gotten it exactly. all over the place. You just had to know what you're doing. Yeah, it's called reading the directions on the <laughs> nah. box. Hold on a second. Think Let you got to read directions. Up. I feel like it just makes sense. No, it doesn't. <laughs> if you follow the directions on a box of hot you pockets, will burn yourself you are and not it'll be guaranteed 
consistent <laughs> results. You will get us. You will, yeah. At one point, you will get a second degree burn. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. I've not gotten I burned agree. eating a hot pocket that I can oh, ever recall. Yeah. I guess I can't say I for have, sure. It's never happened, but I can't recall ever being. I burned. have. I have, but I do let, it again. Let me back up for a second, though. <laughs> I have, but I do it again. Because if I were to pose, <laughs> if I were to pose the question I posed to Ed to myself, yes, and I went to Chris's house and all he had was hot pockets, you doggone right, I'm eating a hot pocket. Yeah, <laughs> but if I have the choice, there you go. All right, at least I, we established that because I was yeah. going to ask that question. We got some ground rules. <laughs> There's a difference between all you have is hot pockets and I'm going to make a hot pocket. Do you want one? Okay. Yeah, it was all, all I got. Like we out gaming, and all I got for the the thing was pizza rolls. I mean, now, all just, I got for the get together. I'll just have some water. <laughs> You'll just have water. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. I, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> you just have water. No, you won't. <laughs> you have what? to at least try at least one. If I make them right, you gotta same try thing, one. The right? whole thing, things you're saying, exact same situation, but with hot pockets. If no, because when hot no. pockets are follow the instructions, they're greasy, hot, burn you, and coming out of both ends. Yeah. If if Gabe, if you're like you've never had them right, try one. Then I would definitely try one. Got Thank it. you. Yeah. All right. That's good. That's good. That's all. And we you would need. enjoy it. That is but all. But if need. you're like, like, ooh, let hey, me I threw one. some Totinos in the oven for a half an hour. Want to want to <laughs> take a gamble? I'd be like, no, I'm good. <laughs> wow. You want to take a gamble? <laughs> that's good. Do you want to bite and wish? Nah, I'm fine. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Might I get a chuck of ice cube. <laughs> Might burn your gums yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that. But you got that hot with that ice cold. It's kind of nice. Yeah, it's either going to be the hottest or coldest thing you've ever eaten. <laughs> exactly. We're not exactly. sure yet. We don't We're just know. Gonna be. Jerry's you are supposed to out. eat them straight out the oven, but oh, you know. Love it. Oh, All right. Here's the, here's the bonus. Favorite ice cream flavor. Ooh. Coffee. Uh, peanut butter almond brittle from Jenny, Jenny's ice cream. Ooh, that is good. That junk is ridiculous. It mm -hmm. tastes like heaven. Mm. What you what you said, Chris? Just coffee, coffee ice cream. Yeah. Nice. Doesn't matter where yep. it's from. I'm gonna if they have coffee, that's the flavor I'm getting. Mm. If if I'm if I'm not at a place I recognize, I'm right there with you, Chris. Mm. Ed. Yeah, right now I like uh, Ben and Jerry's the tonight dough. Oh, oh, nice. oh, that stuff is good. Right. Nice. Oh my gosh. If I'm at Jenny's, it's Brambleberry Crisp. If I'm at anywhere else, it's Baskin Robbins Chocolate Chip. Nice. So if you're at Baskin Robbins, you mean? So if I'm at Baskin Robbins, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then it's Chocolate Chip. If I'm at CC's, I'm getting Baskin Robbins Chocolate <laughs> Chip. <laughs> if I'm getting a Hot Pocket, I'm getting a Chocolate Chip. <laughs> oh, if my I, gosh. If I'm the, if I am rejecting Gabe's pizza rolls, I'm getting chocolate chip ice cream. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, that is it for all the questions. Thank you, one and all. That was fantastic. Even Good if stuff. there was more, we need to stop there. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we're just stopping. We're, we're putting this thing to bed right now. The Ocho is going night-night. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Thank you guys so much for the question. The question of the week for you guys. In a video game, who is more important to you? Hmm. The hero or the villain? Do you need the hero to be solid or do you need the villain to be solid? Hmm. Who is more important to you in gaming? I've had this question kind of bouncing around in my head hmm. over the one, last man. week and a half. I actually came up with it two weeks ago, but I wanted to do the opposites thing. So I did that. Hmm. I think for me, the villain is more important. Hmm. When it comes to, know to a what video you're game. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of layers there. Yeah, there is. Yeah. I don't want to talk question. anybody into my answer. I, I won't explain myself just yet. I want, I want to hear what no, you no. guys are thinking. I'm going to say the hero just because I'm going to spend more time with him. Yep. Yep. But that's that makes a sense. good question. It's a great question. I, uh, I, I would love to say both. Because you need a little bit of the hero. Because you would. Of course I would. <laughs> Damn. Whatever the freaking default is, come on, man, just do one. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> I'm waiting. I got all night. It, I got all, it all night. It only be better if you just said whatever. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that's funny. Uh, All right, so if you had to choose one, oh God, which that's one's a hard more one. important? I'm going villain. Yeah, nice. I need to know who I'm. I need to know what I'm fighting for nice. and or against. Chris, I gotta. I want to say I gotta. Oh, man, hero, shoot. That's hard. <laughs> that's, Why you say that? Why you that's a say, hard question. It is a hard okay. question. So I'm going to just explain a little bit of why I went villain. All right, go. Okay. I feel like, so, and maybe it's because I'm in the middle of playing Far Cry right now, where the hero doesn't have a voice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I always feel like when I'm playing the game, I'm the hero, right? I'm oh, making yeah, the decisions. Yeah. I'm making the choices. I'm deciding who lives and who dies. I'm yes. deciding where I'm going to be a jerk or if I'm going to be a good guy. And so the villain, usually I don't have anything to do with. And he's got to stand alone, be good for me to really enjoy That's a the good game. Point. If you have a bad That's villain, right. then it's like, what, what am I here for? Kind of like what Tim is saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it, anyway, it, that was my that thoughts behind the hero. Like, it, it depends on the game because that totally, right. everything you said absolutely makes sense for a silent protagonist game. But like, no, if but I, even if he's not silent. But I'm saying if I it, were playing Metal Gear Solid, even though it has good villains and I enjoy the villains... If the villain was just, you know, so so, I would want Solid Snake to be rocking it. I'd want that dude That's to be right. like awesome sure. and yeah. have great dialogue and have awesome motivations and just a cool story or whatever. And he does. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like, kind of like Ed said, I spend the majority of the time in those types of games with the That's hero. Right. That's but right. But in a silent one, I'm totally the same as you. Like in Far Cry, I was running around as me. Right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's the- I, I feel like even when they can talk, Like, you know, like Link is the protagonist. I didn't feel like I was necessarily Link, but I want I want Ganon to be worth it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's just Mm -hmm. me. I'm not trying to talk anybody out of their answers. Yeah. 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 There's no wrong. I like I like the the logic behind it. Yeah. 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 Makes sense. Let us let us know next week in gaming. Who's more important to you? Is it the hero or is it the villain? And we will talk about it next week. I'm excited to see you guys' answers. We, mm-hmm. we get some good answers. Maybe we'll meet, read more than just three from each outlet. Ooh. We'll see what you guys come up with. That's excited right. to see. Um, I'm Gabe Patillo. That is Tim Router. That is Ed Placencia. That is Chris McCracken. And we are separated on the Hot Pockets thing, but we're <laughs> married to the games and we're up out this day. Peace!